Hey, Gott, ich suche. Ja, ähm. Will be a playing destination workers. Na. It shouldn't be, <clears throat> but um, it shouldn't have been last time either, but uh, it was because of some oversight. Um, again, I did not believe that Destiny Walker wanted the map to be sold him, and he said, uh, yeah, no. So, um, you know, it's it's Destination Walker's first map, believe it or not, so it's pretty good, I guess, though. Like, mistakes are... Quite easy to make, also we cannot play this. Poked which with a stick today. Amazing. Hey, so. She runs away. No nice thing. It's fine. She can also be like. She can hang out for like hour and a half. We, we definitely don't need that today. <clears throat> Need to get in, get out as quickly as possible. Well, not necessarily, but there is not much money made a building, so like I, I don't want to play this map forever. Hey, this is welcome. Yeah, um... Hopefully I'll have fun with the map. Yeah, I mean, that's what you wanted, isn't it? So, yeah. Again, the first version may be slightly too punishing for many people. But it's your first map, so like, what can I expect? I think for your first map you did, you did well. And it was also me, it was totally possible to beat the map, it's just that... Depends who you are making the map for. Are you making it for the one person? Or are you making it for, you know, in the Reconquered style, which is try to appeal to as many people as possible, but you need to exclude some always. So, that's how it is. Current sort of fate of project push me to getting oh, one of those trucks. The five year old is trifled by this idea. So, like a real car? Or are you talking? <laughs> uh, surely it's. So you live in Florida. You have a truck. Uh, <laughs> um, everything's checks out so far, right? Have fun, that's welcome. No truck yet, but it will happen. <laughs> we have three and a half minutes. Do you want to see something disgusting? In terms of game, not not gore or whatever. But I need to show you something. Of 
course. <laughs> oh no. They... <laughs> they updated the game again. You know what I'm talking about. Shut that off. Maybe you can still load into it. But oh boy, is this gonna be cursed? I actually have one save. I don't want to ruin this save, that's the problem. I guess I have that here as well. Okay, I'm gonna load this and see if it's if it's here as well. Please try. How else am I gonna get the freaking alligators? Need to wait, it's loading. Set a save and show it. Mm, problem is, it updated, so I would corrupt the save, I think. But, we might still see it. Fleet. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Well, I need to find it. Just give me a sec. I know this is kind of weird how this looks like, but you should still see what's going on. So this is my fleet, right? Uh, <clears throat> well, we can take a look at ship design. This is Dreadnoughts, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. I play as Austria-Hungary, okay? And let's take a look at some of the ships I've, I've been making, apparently. So... This is not as disgusting, but it's uh, really weird. But the other one I'm gonna show you is like, prepare a freaking bar bucket. Look at this thing. Oh, that is this ridiculous? What is this? And it works. Like, look at all the turrets. It's not uh, that's again. This is not the worst offender. But look at this thing. Also, I don't like this. This is like slightly too high, I think. But I I didn't find a, s a lower barbette. Also, this like how does this work? This is ridiculous. Okay, another one. This is the worst one I had. No, this is the Daka boat, like this, this is the, literally orcs. Look at this. Look at this. This is guns, 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 guns. Shoot it. Everywhere. There is guns everywhere, okay? It's like double layer guns on the tires themselves. This is literally orcs. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> this is the killer. Yet, it works. <laughs> yeah. Um, fleet of mine, 8 ships, smashed 60 ships of the Chinese in one battle, and then another did the same to the Russians. Is it a good? Yeah, if I could paint it red, it would go faster. I bet. Absolutely fucking disgusting. Anyway, back to Caesar. Yes. Let me boot up again. I might have to update Augustus just a second. I'm gonna do it just in case because uh, I should. And it's uh, Destination Walker said you should have the latest. I think there are instructions that are moist. Are there? This was the second most cursed thing I've seen on Twitch. Oh, there are some very cursed things on Twitch. What? Assets could not be loaded. Okay, 
I need a second. Hmm. Now will we rock? Yes. Now it works. All right. You should be able to see it soon. <clears throat> okay. Hello, welcome. Today we'll be playing season three. Augustus, you'll be playing custom campaign. This is the first map of the custom campaign from Destination Walker. It's called the campaign is called Conquering the Media. This first map is called Eagle Gilly. Uh, if not, then I'm s sorry, but I cannot pronounce this thing. Um, we will be probably listening to the instructions. I think there are instructions to listen to. I've played this one before um, on the first version, so I'll have some insights into what's happening on the map. But yes, this is version 2, so let's go ahead and load into it. Mm, this might be the old version. Nope. How do I not see it? Is it a map file? You updated a lot of this, yes. Ah, it's called something else now. Map X. Oh, it is a map file. Okay. <clears throat> so it's a map file now. It starts at 100 BC. It doesn't seem right. I think the last map started a different date, but that's fine. Are you, are you here, Destination Walker? Are you sure you want me to play a map file? Is it not supposed to be a save? Maybe you made a mistake? Yeah, no problem. I'll wait. I'll just remove this. some more rock music I guess though. Sorry for the technical difficulties. reading when that's just experience. Watching that seems to me like I would lose like 50 points of IQ just there, just from watching that. back let's get uh, this going so intro already happened I'm not gonna repeat it however we will now be able to, to take a look at the back so this is a save file it starts at 100 BC still uh, there's less starting money than last time I think but that's fine will we have voice wasn't this supposed to be voice? I don't remember. I'm pretty certain there was a voice. Why does it not play? When I want to stay something, why cannot it just go right? <laughs> okay, well. You see nothing. How is that even possible? Let me fix it. Or oh, attempt to fix it. It's probably due to the capture dripping out. There you go. 
I have this, but isn't this supposed to be um, the voice? Let's see if I have it in the community folder. Uh, audio. Ah, yes. Let's just play it. It has no. Governor Caesar has oh. dispatched you on a special mission. The Roman Empire must expand into the territories of the Kingdom of Numidia in accordance with the gods. I don't know why to it achieve work. this. You will build a magnificent city that pays homage to all the gods equally. However, some preparations are necessary. Initially, five cities must be established as outposts to supply the new capital in Numidia with goods. Found a new city in the northern Numidia named Igilgili. Igilgili is intended to become the new trade center and is dedicated to the god Mercury. Utilize the abundant stone resources to build a thriving economy. Despite its coastal location, the surrounding hills and mountains block access to fishing grounds. The existing fertile land is also unsuitable for food production, so food must be imported to feed your citizens. You are free to attempt to use the available fertile land for growing olives. As a trading city, Igilgili needs honest workers. Exploitative patricians are not welcome here. Wine cannot be produced locally or imported. The Numidians will not be pleased with the founding of Igilgili. Expect attacks from the few vulnerable spots not protected by hills. There are also reports of natives living on a hill. Whether you can win them over to our cause or even make them adversaries, you will be able to decide in due course. However, it is certain that your presence will initially bring no joy. Establish a city with 8,000 inhabitants, satisfying a basic need for culture. Although no patricians will live in the city, Igilgili should achieve a prosperity level worthy of a Roman city. To fulfill the mission's goals, Igilgili must be dedicated to the god Mercury. Build a grand temple of Mercury for this purpose. The required favor rating can only be achieved through this. No additional grand temples may be constructed. Violating this rule would plunge your city into ruin. Well, hints. Uh, workshops can only be built once prosperity rating is at least 50 is 15 is achieved. So again, this campaign is uh, loosely inspired by the Conqueror. You have some things that are similar, N not just the terrain, which itself is a little bit similar. But uh, yes, so it is like s sort of a subsidy, but without the money aspect, and it's higher. Uh, some buildings are not yet unlocked. Uh, Caesar will demand annual deliveries, various goods, a denarii. Uh, when Grand Temple to Mercury is completed, he will be so pleased that he'll grant you not only his own benefits, but also some kind of blessing of the other gods. Campaign aims to highlight points system for entertainment. This mission theaters are excluded as they only provide entertainment points. Grand Insular requirement is 35 entertainment, which could be achieved through an amphitheater with actors and gladiators, 10 plus 5, so 15, and an arena with which is 20 if you give it both services. So yes, you can go Grand Insula with full entertainment, but uh, it will not be ex any excess entertainment, meaning that your sentiment will not be as good. Now, something I know is, uh, again, we played this map before, it's relatively small, but yeah, we suspect we'll have to fill this pretty well with 8,000 residents. Also, there is military and it's on the opposite sides of the map. So we've got an uh, entry point here for enemies and here. Otherwise, it's demarked um, clearly, apart from this one spot, which I guess you should suspect since it's open. Because all of this is covered. So, you know, someone who watches out, this could also be one then. But um, yeah, I know that this is in fact where some natives come from and uh, that can be extremely dangerous if you don't have units nearby. Oh, and I have an uh, Augustus crash. Okay. Um, well, let me just try to load it again. I could try and send a... Why does it have to be today? It's just like everything that's possibly feasibly going to go wrong goes wrong. I don't know. But it's like that. Go ahead and load. The, is the, do we have no music again, or like what's the deal here? 
There you go. Can you see the can you see the game? No, you can't. There you go. You'll see. Yeah, you're able to see it. Yeah. <clears throat> There you go, yes. Uh, now, uh, entry point, exit point, relatively short distance, so trade quota is gonna be pretty high. Fertile land around here, we can grow olives, nothing else. We can make stone and sand. And we need, uh, there's no food production, not even fishing, this is for dogs. Also water, you need to tap it from here or you tap it from here. I personally don't think that it's good to tap it from here, just keep it for trade. Sea trade is already awful with efficiency compared to land caravans. So if you build a if you build a reservoir here, <coughs> it's gonna make it even worse <coughs> in many ways. So that's not what I want. Um, what he'll be doing is last time we had to do two tent blocks because it was literally impossible to not do tent blocks as you would die to that. Uh, let's take a look at prices. 3000 for marble, so that has been lowered by a thousand. We received 34 stone. 34 sand is a lot. Sure. Sand production is the most. Uh, yeah, your food has been made cheaper. Vegetables are very cheap now. 10. 25 for wheat and fruits. Uh, but vegetables and fish are from Rome, I think. That's what's supposed to feed the troops. But this has also been lowered by 10 denarii. Every single denarii makes a difference with this food. Or 5 denarii, is it? Probably is. Well, anyway, if you import hundreds of it, uh, every denarii makes a difference. We'll be building two blocks, I think. The first block goes here, then we can do some temples. This high ground. Let's go ahead and build something. As a block, this is a reservoir spot, it's gonna cover most of this high ground. There you go, bring this over. This is not ideal with the staircase. We could do this instead, but it's also cutting into the space a little bit. Is this fine? One, two, one, two, one, two, yes. I'm making it slightly larger than last time. I hope this works. This might be slightly too large for its own good. This is not accurate yet. We'll have to see. Making it larger is not necessarily always better. So we'll see if I get severely punished for making this or not. That's fine, we should put some extra houses here. Not there because you won't um, access. So we'll do it like that. There is plenty of one by one spots to put services in. This is a desert, meaning we need like three prefects for this kind of block, otherwise it will explode. We do not want it to explode. Darkness is here, but I need to play the game. I'm sorry. No darkness. Hello to temples. <clears throat> Let's get Mercury. It's the only temple we are allowed to build. Grand temple, that is. So, no reason to have the others in the block. Neptune. And uh, Mars, we have Venus. There you go. So, this is our starting town. I will not try hard it, I will not fill in the one by ones. 
Does, I don't think we need to. Oh, let's lower our solar. Lower by five, yes. Mm -hmm. Every dinara counts on the food. It's hundreds upon hundreds of quota. The problem last time, by the way, was that uh, when you have two blocks and you start feed feeding them, it's not just the food they eat per year. They stock up up to one farm worth of food in the house. Every single house has um, 10 units of food. So it's 300 denarii in imports in that house alone, and ignoring logistics uh, costs. So... Well, imported food, that's brutal, so that's why it wasn't really good, because I would have to sit here for like three years until it kind of equalizes on minimal income, and that's just not good uh, for, for streaming. It's possible, but it's just super, super annoying, because you can't build anything in up to, until they fill up. And then, of course, like juggling, possibly even being in debt, even though you're not building anything, and that's the most frustrating thing. In this game, when your city is solely focused on making money and it's not making money, it's awful. But uh, yeah, so the price should make it a little bit better. Oh, well, Kate is visiting her brother today, so she's not here. She's gonna come here soon, though. It's afternoon. I didn't check the trade yet. We have time. I will check it once we. Establish the block. Otherwise, this is Destination Walker's first map. Um, I would say he did a good job with it. Like the all the terrain and everything uh, fits it. Also, there's a side objective with natives with Stone Circle, which is reminiscent of Lindum in the Conqueror. Um, but that's fine. You're know, inspiring uh, yourself from other people's creation is completely fine. We all do it. Um, what do I want? Yes, we still don't have the workers. Oh yeah, also I should also probably do the water immediately, even though I'd really like not to. Yes, food for soldiers. So we, if we want to feed our troops, I might read the message again, because I know what it is, but you don't. Governor, Rome has decided to support your venture into Numidia with such a way. In such a way that your troops can be supplied with affordable provisions. Once you have established the trade route to Rome, you can import fish and vegetables in small but cost-effective quantities. The quantities will increase by 5 units per food item for each fully staffed fort. Ensuring that your soldiers do not suffer from hunger for a civilian population, you must rely on local imports. Rely on local imports. Okay. If we do this, if we bring the water, it's going to be very expensive, but I really don't want them to explode. And we will need to give them water. I think I need to risk it, but I really don't want to build this reservoir because I don't believe it's good. I'm going to bring it through here. The closest possible reservoir is here. This was a reasonable place for a block as well, which is... We'll have to do something over here, most likely. All good. Just put it here. Last time I had some services here, but uh, I'll tweak that if we need to later. As always, if you want to maximize space, hugging the cliffs with your aquaducts is usually good. Mid stairs, I don't care. It can be like this. Put this thing there, so it's it's not as hideous, because it has a negative desirability, and with Augustus, that can matter a lot. Damn it. Here. Build a bath. 
does it cover the... Yeah, it's... This is a problem. This block is slightly too large for its own good, I think. And that's causing this. That means that this service will not cover it. It's the bots specifically who do this. This one would work. I, I hate this though. The moment I build something around it, it will break. I'm breaking my own rules. Usually you don't like build a smaller block. Do yourself a favor. Build a smaller block so you don't have to deal with this garbage. Because now, like, it works for now, but it could stop working at some point. And randomly it breaks from you building roads here. And not even connecting it. Not connecting it, of course. But that's how the game works. <clears throat> totally fine, probably. Yeah, no. I don't like it. It's not practical. It's not worth your time to, oh, now, now I need to finagle with this and relocate services all over the place. It's terrible. Build a small block. Don't be greedy and it will work reliably, sustainably. This is bad. Because it, it's just not worth the hassle. It's not worth the hassle to have the extra three houses or whatever. It's not worth the hair like. Okay, we have 20 workers. Let's take a look. Greed is good. No, not in this instance. It's terrible. Unless you have no life and you explicitly know where the exit points for the buildings are and where the destination for the roamers is, but even then, I would just not do it. Um, practical design is much better than, you know, flashy garbage that doesn't work in most circumstances for most people. Oh, uh, this. Take out Yes. Mm, we need to open this, but before we do, let's produce some sand and stone. Trade is gonna go here. Darkness wants to come back. No. Stone is around here. Let's just delete this. Let's get some sand. Two for now. We should still start relatively small with this and I want to trade some no go away go I don't have the time uh yeah so like entry to this so this could be manufacturing later uh, highway here we want to get an area at some point for the food um I want the imports to go along this way, not here. This is a block site. This is gonna be the trade. I suppose it can go here for now. Well, for now. I'm not gonna change it. If it's there, it's gonna be there forever. Pretty much. What we want to do is a road like this, so we can fit some workshops or whatever later. Now, question is, can a single set of services cover this? If we have this one, that's gonna invalidate that whole side. So let's make some services here. And it's fine because we can do this. This thing is going to accept live traders. Let's do stone and sand. I guess we dedicate warehouses. I'm gonna go more warehouses this time. Last time I did split into eight, and it uh, there is significant trade volume. So it's better to have more. Hell, rock welcome. It's made of lies. Yes. Take the bailout. Whenever we get workers, we should expand. The mining. I would like another sand pit, actually. Now, the thing with this is we will need extra services 
but I will try to avoid it for now. I'm getting some sand. <clears throat> I wonder if bailouts were coming back then. It's nowadays. Mm, not likely. Being in debt was seen as a despicable thing to do, but a lot of people did go into debt. However, the rates were extortionate and you never wanted to do it. You could be enslaved for being in debt, for example. A lot of people who went into the Lydiae were people who were indebted and then they became slaves or they went to a Lanista, which is a guy who's running a gladiator school which these were uh, unsavory characters for Romans they saw them sort of like pimps and they would negotiate that they'll go into the arena for like set amount of fights and then the Lanista will pay off their debt which is ridiculous because for us I mean it wasn't a dead dangerous as you might think because otherwise people would never do it. But it was not safe. As you might imagine. Oh, also locations of some of these cities. Like this is cheap, but it's far away. Um, so uh, again, I would advise maybe if you plan to do any changes. Uh, placing cities closer to your uh, player city makes it, if you have so many, it's there's a good chance players will not check every single one. So we know about Tigawa, let's open this. So usually the closest, like the common sense is the closest it is, the cheaper it is to open. Unless it's a sea trade route, then it can be a bit uh, different. Death nowadays is like a surplus, bankers just put a twist on it, I guess. I never had any debt, and I never planned to have any debt. So I don't see that as a good thing to have. But a lot of people, it's here it's called American style of living. Where you borrow for having a new TV, you borrow for having a new fridge. Yeah, great, but you end up paying so much more that like, why don't you just save money? like you know taking a debt for going on a vacation or whatever i am sorry but if i don't have the money to go on a vacation i'm not going on a vacation so like you know i know that's not what they want to hear because they want to make money off of your misery but i'm sorry i just don't want that in my life other people do though the changing prices no that's terrible some maps can do that now but um you know what happens then? It's microfest. Every year, I better juggle all those uh, all those commands. No, no. It's it sounds good on paper until you think about it for more than two seconds. Then you find out how terrible that idea is. <laughs> it's really bad. You do not want that. Trust me. We had a map like that, and when it happens once, it's terrible. <laughs> When it happens multiple times, it's like, oh boy, it's that's not very good. Let's do this. Get ourselves some services. Should probably diversify into some olives soon. So we should have some income. Uh, we could water people easily. We'll see if we need to. This did activate a lot of. We actually have a surplus employees still. Okay, well, the sooner we can make more money, the better. But this is danger. There are natives and there is an innovation point. So I need to be careful about that. So they could, they could come here and smash this. Now, is this prefect gonna do his job? Apparently, yes. I'm not sure if I trust him, though. We can open another trader for like 450, which is really cheap. We should do that soon. Can't pay a house on my safe things. One exception, I guess. Yeah, with housing, that's of course a little bit different. But I also don't want that in my life. I also don't want to take a mortgage and just like. It's also extortionate if you. I know it's necessity, but I don't. Like, what does it help you to. to oh, I have my own house. Yeah, but you've been basically paying, you know, 
you've been paying ex extremely high surplus to someone. And then, yeah, like, you'll be old and you'll get the house to your kids. Did you receive a house as a, uh, when, you, when you were adolescent? No. So, like, why should your kids get a house? Shouldn't they build their own thing? Will they value it if they just get it? These things, I think people don't really think about it. It's your, you have one life. Spending your life and effort on this and then paying someone to have the mortgage, I feel like that's modern slavery. And people put too much value on owning property. Even though it is your right and if you can, you should. It's still like absolutely being obsessed by it is also terrible. I live, I live in a city, yes. Uh, but yeah, it, it, I can't afford here, affording a, uh, something here, it's ridiculous, it's ridiculous. I would have to go to that for super, super, super long to, to be able to do that, no. But yeah, so like in, in, a, in a countryside it's probably a little bit different, but also country by country. By the way, Prague is one of the most expensive cities. Um, I think in in Europe, so it's terribly terrible. Even when you live on the outskirts, it's terrible. Uh, labor. I need to be careful. We don't want to have too many workers because can I employ them so quickly? We could if we go into debt. But I wanted to pay my tribute. We already lost five favor somehow. I haven't been here for a year yet. How did I lose favor? I guess that was the year. Uh, yeah, we haven't been here a year yet. But we did lose five favor already. Okay. Went into that, yeah, but that doesn't. Uh, well, maybe the first time it gives you minus uh, five or something. I don't remember the numbers. Exactly. I know it's bad if you don't pay your tribute, but that's not even a thing yet. Hey, Morris, welcome. No, it's not. Uh, tri tribute didn't even happen. This is the first year. It's the double debt. So, like, I took the bailout and then we went into debt. But not double debt. This is the first year. Somehow I lost five favor. I don't know how. I cannot even send a gift yet, because we haven't been here 12 months. It's weird to me that we lost so much. I'll wait. I'll wait so we can pay our tribute. This favor is a resource, but we don't want to mismanage it. I meant bailout, no, then debt, yeah. Just double debt would be like, oh, you've been in debt for like a year. Right, that's another penalty. Who buys all this <laughs> sandstone exporting? Uh, then to North Europe and finds out they fell away. Who am I to question that? Um, let's take a look. Manix, well, they'll buy olives, sand and stone. Let's open it. Let's sell olives. Now to increase our production, this year it needs to be big. Needs to be really, really big. We all have to do a depot for the olives, I feel like, or bring them through here. But this is the natives. I'm very worried about that because that invasion point is a bit mean. Uh, more sand, great. Um, maybe even more stone first. We could do it. First, let's get a fountain. Water fountains. It's fine.
Next up, when we get the labor, we should do the stone on this other side. That is effectively stuck, so you might as well have a quarry here. So there's no way to access that area. Just a couple. Let's give them service. Expensive, but I'll do a small highway. Well, this ended up exactly the same as I wanted to prevent it because. Uh, let's just put it here and fine, whatever. I wanted to have nice things, but no. Yeah, yeah, I know. 33 favor, let's give him his gift. So it calms down. We make some money, we have two trader at so Eagle Gilly sounds like uh, what a mentally challenged turkey might say. It's also extremely hard to pronounce, yet it is apparently historically accurate. That's why it's in the game or in the map. So who are we to dispute it? Someone somewhere thought that this is a good idea to name a city like this. And it was real. So, you know, one good thing about it is if someone wants to invade it. Hey, boss, what kind of city are we invading? Yeah, let's just go to the other place because I... <laughs> yeah. Um, if you can't pronounce it, probably not a good idea to invade it. It's hysterically accurate, that's what it is. Uh, okay. Olives, but um, maybe it's too early. I know, it's fine. Except some olives. Hit a button with a goat sounds <laughs> rather more fun. It's the best defense. It is. You don't need defenses. If you name your city like that, okay. More food is needed. More food is needed in the city. Trade partners are unleveling to increase the capacity if the caravans are adequately supplied. Build the caravans are right to substantially boost quantity of traded food. Yes, you can't, um, you can't uh, import much food yet. It's like 75 quota. You need to build, uh, yeah, build the thing. For now, we can still do the olives. We should really focus on that. Uh, did we sell all our things already? Let's feel like I burned through the quota. No, no, no. They can still buy more. They just need time. Could do a little bit of olives. Toga boy is having a spasm. It's fine. No need to look at the dead. This is way more than I need, I think. Let's put it out down. Make sure we have space for workshops. Now, I need to build this here. I want to build it here because I know there's the natives. It's gonna be extremely annoying. We'll have to do some military at some point. There's still no invasion, so we are good. Do we need even more sand? If we do, then we could put sand pits here as well. Uh, stone. Is actually not being bought fast enough. Where are 
to traders. Are there land trade problems? I don't see a single caravan on the map. How? How is there not a single caravan? I don't understand that. There might have been land trade problems. But it didn't display. If it's event um, land trade problems, then possibly giving the player a message would be nice. This could be an event. Um, okay, fine, whatever. Does, have, um, does this map have invasions? Yes. It does. Made some money. We don't have labor anymore. We should. Uh, last time we had to make a second block immediately. I'll do it still because I don't trust the economy on this. We'll need money though. There's not enough money to do this. But we want a block here. Uh, stuff, yes. Uh, also, we should probably increase our sand production just so we can send it to Caesar. So he leaves me alone. And then even opening another trade route would be good if we know that we have a surplus. Think event uh, driven land trade problem still notified or did they not? If they do, then why was there not a single caravan and there was free quota? That doesn't make any sense. Or it was like some sort of bug. Because that should never happen. If there is quota, they always spawn. If, in, if there is no quota, they still spawn. Actually, there was not a single one on the whole map. You should always stockpile this sand at some point, but I believe we'll overproduce it relatively easily. We've got a thousand. I might even open another trade route. If we look at the quota. Stone is already bought up for both of them. So yes, opening a new one would be worth it. If it's cheap, like 1200-ish. This is 750, but it's C. We don't want to do that. That would necessarily in more logistics. This, uh, Azuzia, more sand, more importantly, more stone. Do it. It will put us in debt for the moment, but we make some money off of the stone. And then we pay our tribute. Hopefully, it's just not gonna be too upset. I feel like we could still sell more sand, but I don't have the labor. I should be careful. We need workers. Well, actually, we will do the block. That's the next year on the menu. We do the block, then we do some military, I feel like. Because I don't feel safe. But yeah, that should hopefully be okay. There I guess this increase the maximum spawnable traders in a map. It depends on the quota now. So yes, but it depends if the city is offering enough trade. If it does, then it scales and there could be slightly more traders spawning done before. You also, in Augustus, you have several ways to boost trade potential. Highways, a Grand Temple to Mercury epithet, or just base bonus from it, and Caravan Sarai for sea trade lighthouse. These things can make a difference. We still have mm, backlog of stone, but I can't open another trade road. I don't think. That would definitely be dead and then he would shriek at me. Oh, really wait. It's fine. We are here the second year. Actually, they'll stuck all that sand, but the greed is real. December. 
All the stone backlog is hurting my eyes. I'll accept more of it. It's January, we had a thousand. Now we can trade more. Let's get a block going. He's gonna hate it because he hates nice things. I'm going to keep this like so, I guess. What's this length? This will... The unfortunate part about this is the highway. I really wish we didn't have to shoot the highway in the kneecaps. One, two, one, two, one. This is slightly too large. One tile too large to fit 22 by 6 through here. It could be smaller. It's just not very good when it is, but I feel like we need to do something a little bit different. Last time I built all the way here and it is good, however, it does limit your highway, which could be a factor on this map. Because that is food imports. Food imports require a highway to be, you know, boost its efficiency. I really don't want this staircase to be anywhere close to being part of the block. That would be the worst. One, two, one, two, one, two. We need to somehow dodge this. Which is going to be infuriating. I need to do it like this. You think you've seen the most cursed block? Well, this is it. I think it's not gonna work. This is too long. It apparently works. Do I trust this? No. I think I need to cut this little tumor. Or this. I guess we cut this. Oh boy, is it not great. It's really not great. But it's fine. People are eating more food than they are producing. That's a lie, because I don't produce any food, so how can they be eating any of it? Just see the things. Oh boy, this... yeah. This is gonna be super tight. If it, without Temple to Venus, we'll have a tough time with this. It's fine. Uh, reservoir... These people might actually get extremely hard to water. They will. They will get extremely hard to water. And I can't do anything about that. Even if it's like here, maximum coverage for this is sort of like this. So this extension. I guess we put services in here. God, I hate that. This block is not good feel like it's cursed and it is it's the school or bathhouse to be absolutely sure well it depends but yes it will be fine this is gonna drive me nuts this block is not gonna be very efficient this is because I have to plan for the highway otherwise it would be fine Money's okay. We need some services in here now. I want three prefects. We need a new temple, for sure. If only it was just one. There you go. 
I need to bring them water. So let's go ahead and place this. I will need to build it like here. Unfortunately. So that's gonna cut into the space in the block even more. But it's what we need. The bathhouse is vital. With a fountain. Yep, it just about reaches these people. Anymore, and we can't fit anything in here physically. It's a problem. That is a problem. gonna have to try to cram people in here which is gonna be terrible for desirability I might have to leave this open as well because they'll complain about desirability otherwise two of labor camps no I don't have the ability to produce any food locally so um, I have to Augustus hates me though. I have to have a clinic. I have to have a barber. I have to have a bathhouse. Otherwise, these people would die. Like. And they still die from explosions. Okay, yeah, that one didn't have a prefect. Fair. He wants the sand. I need to overproduce it. We don't have many goods here, um, meaning that if we have labor, we should expand the mines. Money is very important. That's a lie, you will never leave. No one will. That's a lie, and you know it. It's like uh, hunger helps immigration in the campaign. That message is pure, pure lies. Hunger never holds immigration. I wish I could put more houses here, but I'll be strapped for desirability. I know it. Most likely, right? Try it. The greed is real. Let's see what happens. Also, this house is just not going to have water ever. Some of the comments uh, out of context could be very offending. Uh, they could, yes. But so can anyone's, can they? If you put them out of context. Sometimes they are authentic, even if they are with context, by the way, so... Yeah. How do you alter this house? I actually need this to be a market, I think. <laughs> even though this is all the space I have, it's on the other side of the freaking block. Fine, whatever. I didn't need it anyway. Need to put a fountain here as well, which means that this is a terrible place now. Um, all right. This house um, needs its own fountain, which I do not want to give it, but um, I guess I'm gonna do it this way. Shipping offensive stuff. <laughs> No, no, nowadays. Thanks to the internet, we, we don't have we don't have the right to forget anymore, yeah. Hey there we're gonna walk. He wants the stone, that's fine. He wants the sand, which I'm desperately trying to produce, but even though the sand pits should have higher 
the reduction rate they don't seem to be doing enough such a terrible place in the block oh, I guess we will need to put an arena and something somewhere but this side is just like yeah wish we could we could vote for more people in there but no all right so feeding people is gonna be on the menu relatively soon ish I suppose Highway waifu, but yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit of highway for that sweet, sweet whiplash. This thing. It accepts land traders, it accepts wheat and fruits. We'll think about these things as well. <clears throat> that is an attack. I should really build a military. Sells wheat. Sells fruit, but we didn't open this yet. I think I need to open this. We are all producing olives, I think. No, we are not. I'll be able to labor for it. Finally, can send him to sand. I know it's fine. Now we need the military, which is gonna be terrible. I need to open the room to get the cheap food. I will be in debt. It's September. Maybe we wait until the enemies are distant. It's fine. We'll do it next year in January, right after we get out of debt. Hopefully, I think we have a new trader, so we should see some money. Yeah. So everything's getting kind of ready, I guess. He's grateful, we should also send him a gift. We could wait for a mediums, but I'm just gonna do a small gift. Price rise. Okay, we got some price rises on olives. Okay, yeah, every dinar counts. If we can export like a hundred olives, that's substantial amount of money. Um, yeah, it's November. We need to wait still, but I could open Rome relatively quickly. Let's see what happens. We also we don't have plaza, so let's go ahead and get some. Do we have statues? Yes. Well, first let's do Lararia. I'm so indecisive. Uh, let's do Lararia. It's expensive, but uh, it's the best we can do. For these people, that should help. With some evolution. We do have workers, though. We do have workers. But we'll need that for the dock to operate. And now, the darkness, darkness holds God. dominion. Um, it was Bobby. Black as death. Lararia for everyone. <laughs> and I'll feel good about living in Tent City, yes. But I, why are people so focused on this? Is this my choice? I never do this if I don't have to. There is no local food. Okay. You have to import all your food, it's crushing. You don't realize how much you spend on it until you do, and it's terrible. I didn't choose this life, the tenth life chose me, okay? I know you mean it as a joke, but like, it's just, you know... There's, there are reasons for it, okay? I don't like it, generally. But on maps that have no local food production, what do you freaking suspect is gonna happen? 
People of intents for years, yes. Yes. Because they have to. December. Plebeians are refusing to work. That's not made of wise. We should be careful, January. Let's get the dock rolling. Kiranare. Uh, and a warehouse. And some services. And a road. And some kind of hose. It's gonna be the big deal. Fitting this thing. I could actually relocate the prefect. This will still cover a potential dock in the future. And we put a depot right here. And we bring stone. This accepts dock workers. It accepts some stone. We bring stone, bring it from 1 to 2. Oh no, 2? Is that real? Why is it 2? Oh, it is this. No. Bring it here. There you go. Bring it to 5. And this thing is gonna accept um, Quartermaster and it accepts fruit and fish. 1616. We open Rome. We import the food. We set up barracks. And a supply post. We set up a fort. Javelineers. Maybe people should just live where the food is. Maybe. I didn't make this decision to, <laughs> to, to build a colony here. You are questioning things that are way beyond your pay grade. Not even I can question that. The Supreme Leader has spoken. We will build a generator in the middle of Numidia. Okay. No matter the cost. Things. Yes, uh, we'll be importing food soon. Soon to you. Uh, this dock. This dock works. And ships should start coming at some point to it. Our ox should be fetching some stone. I should also build squiggles. Can get around better. First ship is coming, we need that food, otherwise, soldiers will starve. We've got money, um, so soon we should really start thinking about feeding these people, but it's just a massive expense. We need to be very careful when we do it. I think we do it soon, though. Very soon. Price is sand for denarii is insane. So, we do sell a whole hell, hell of a lot of sand. I f feel like we still don't make enough of it, though. Probably want to expand that. Okay, 4,000. Is it time? <laughs> it's just so painful to import the food. I guess we'll do it. Let's build this here. We need to prepare a warehouse, as this is going to be our supply hub. Unfortunately, it also is blocking the aqueduct. But this needs to be very close. If I block this in, we can then have schools for gladiators and actors on this hill. I wanted temples in there, but if it says no, then I'll just do it here. It's fine. 
we will need a connection. I know this looks cursed, but uh, trust me, it's not. It's absolutely as it needs to be. I cancel that outlook. Let's go ahead and get them some services. This tank. Only market ladies. We accept fruits and wheat. We get some depots, even though they are... That's gonna put us in a labor deficit. We have got some food now. That should be good. Let's put some depots here for the food. We bring wheat from 3 to 6. We bring some fruit from 3 to 6. And I need to open this trader if I didn't. We did. Uh, let's import fruits. Let's import wheat. See what happens. I also really want another four. Um, and possibly a military academy. It's expensive, I know, I know. But, uh, yeah, I don't trust myself uh, on this map with military. I've seen some of the native attacks and they seem pretty terrifying to me. Sandstorms, that's uh, really bad for us. Building Javelin Fort. I would love this fort to be able to go here. do it. I uh, hope it didn't offend the natives. It did not. Stormy seas. Yeah, right. Soon TM works every time. If there was stormy seas for the disruption of food, that was terrible, man. Oh boy. Now we have a ship. Great. We need to feed our people. We've got some food now. Let's go ahead and get a market. I need to feed one block. This is a smaller block. So I feel like feeding that is probably a bit more realistic at the start. Give them amenities. But money, money. We need to watch the money. But at the same time, I do need this. That's got I'm awful. We need to be careful about that. Probably want to look that. The staircase is terrible. We don't have plaza, so it's Lararia time. Well, it would be if I had a lot of money, which we don't. So we still need to be kind of careful. Is this school working? Yes, it is. Forget to tax them. Oh, uh, barely hovels. Needs to be... Hovels are taxable, yes. In a... Uh, but... They give almost nothing. It's small casa with, that you want to really tax, but it's desirability they want. And I can't give in to them yet. Need more depots, I think. We also need to send him money. Do it. Send a gift. Not yet. Hopefully we make some money, still, even though we are importing. It's been pretty long so far. I'm playing very slowly today, I apologize if that's annoying. Okay, it's back. Okay, I might have to invest here. I'd really prefer if we didn't have to, but yeah, that's how, why I kept that space there. So we, we need to do that. Also, I'm, we are gonna have to do uh, extra temples, small temples, which are terrible. They still want desirability, that's their main concern. There you go. Nice things. 
Lararium right here. I know, I know, I know you hate it. You hate all nice things. Did I give them the form? Not yet. Let's give them the form. I know, I know, it's November, it's terrible. It's probably because we ran out of quota, my guess, but we are still trading, sort of. But not good, we'll end up in that, I think. 53 favor is good, though. Check the quota. Mm -hmm. They bought almost everything they could. A little bit of olives left. Everything here. We should open another trade route. This is a land trade. It's expensive, but it's more goods. And we can do that. Easily enough. But after after we get out of debt, we open it. And right now it would cause us to probably cross that critical threshold where he goes ballistic. Put a statue down. Workshops unlocked. Okay. Now we can make oil. <laughs> That's good. Let's generate it. Let's wait for make some money. Quickly. Make money, make money, make money, make money. Make any money at all. Make it now. Make it now. There you go. That's, you see why I said we need to be very careful when we feed people? <clears throat> yeah, it's because of that. So, uh, we should focus on... Uh, can we even sell oil yet? We can. So, probably oil is my best uh, labor sponge right now. So, maybe we do that first. Workshops for oil. I could get a couple in here. Nothing crazy. Let's accept some less olives, but more oil. We'll specify warehouse a bit later. Now, we should also make another set of workshops around here. And I feel like splitting this. Do that. Give them their own little service. And we probably want to overproduce olives slightly over here. This is gonna be labor intensive, of course. This seems legit for now. I'll trust it, I guess. Eventually, we'll have to split off, I think. We should sell oil. I should designate that. And then opening, not importing. Oh no, they, they sell me oil. That's right. I would have to open a trader. Well, it's fine. We can still do that. I guess we do that. We find one that's buying other things we also make. Preferably three and a half thousand is a lot. Can we open, can we uh, live through that? Probably not. We should probably be conservative. But two and a half thousand is a lot as well. Three and a half thousand for that. Two and a half thousand. Two and a half is good for 16 oil. And there's sand to be sold. I just need more sand really, I think. For that I would need a connection through here. Do we have labor? We are actually spot on with workers. That's fine. Let's do that. I could actually do this with that. These services can cover part of this. And that's safe. So I was worried about that in the first place. Now the money, we need to make the money. Uh, have I designated the oil? We sold, exported.
They are making the olive oil, but uh, it's an investment. We need that uh, to pay off and the food imports are crashing. At least everyone's fat, so that's giving us some tax, but... Yeah, not, not amazing, obviously. But we need to kind of keep it going now. I don't think we can disrupt that anymore. Also, I would like more stone, I think. Seems like I don't have enough anymore. Buy all the things. Hopefully we see some oil soon. Rice, rice and stone is gonna help. Don't set the costs. He wants olives. It's 1500 in debt still. Let's check this ledger. Yeah, we are still importing a lot. It's June. I hope we don't see him go past. Let's give it time. We definitely can't feed the other block right now. We have 100 brokers though. I need to give them jobs, but I can't because money. Need to go out of debt first. There we go. So what's our immediate goal? I think more oil is gonna be great, but um, well, he wants olives. And there is more olives to be sold. It also helps to do oil production. So let's do that. Let's add two more farms. Let's get, do we need more sand? I don't actually think so. But we'll see. Oh yeah, stone. We didn't see quite enough stone. You need second set of services for this thing, I believe. Right? Well, it kind of works. Tantrum incoming. No, we dodged it, I think. But almost. Desirability is still pretty terrible. I can't do a market yet. Go to thousand. We should really sell more oil if we have more oil. For now, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, what we need is another warehouse. Just to stockpile surpluses. Another 8 oil. I'll accept some bricks in here. Accept some clay. And accept some olives, I guess. I need to prepare to build that caravan, or else gods are getting angry at me. So line house. Hey Kate. Would like some Lararia. But they're expensive. I guess we do it. These people need food soon. They're getting upset. We need to keep making more money though. It's the more important thing right now. Otherwise the city dies. I would like to build some more farms here, but I'm terrified of the natives. I'm terrified of them because they immediately run into the city. They don't even wait two seconds. When the attack happens from there. So this is uh, not safe. I don't. I don't like doing this, but uh, we need more industries. So let's go ahead and do it. Got some oil. Need to open another trade route soon. It's December. I wish we didn't end up in debt at the end of the year, but we did. Just parallel. <laughs> 
Sure enough, build those farms. Forty nine debt. Okay, well, I guess we paid our tribute. <laughs> All right, it's we are in debt. We need to do something. I would like another four, but more than anything else, we need to open another trade route for more oil because we are producing more than we can export. I think and sand as well. If there was a trade route that buys sand and oil, that would be perfect. It's olives and oil here. What well, these are C as well, which is not preferable. We need this, really. Three and a half thousand is a lot of money, but uh, we can probably do it. Can I recover from that? Depends. It's my oh, this oil workshop does not have access to labor. Let's just replace it. It's fine. Get some more. No way just caused you to go into debt before tribute would be paid. I thought so. Favor did take a hit from that. So only, you only pay tribute if you end up with enough money for it and it takes wages first. If you don't pay tribute, he gets upset. I believe I can support this trader out. What about stone production? Seems sufficient, right? At least for now. Well, there's the oil sitting here. That's what I need to sell. I'll do it. It's a bit questionable, but let's do it. It's still very early. We've been here for five years, which is not that long. And we've only had... We didn't even have a single attack yet, but it's gonna happen soon. And we will need another four before long. Month ends, so taxes, levies, wages, salaries, pay first, yeah. Tribute is the last. We sold all the oil. More industry, probably, in order. But I need those bricks as well. Just make one brickworks and slowly make some bricks. Over time. How expensive is clay? Pretty expensive compared to vanilla, but uh, that's fine. So you need to build that caravansarai. You'll need to build it relatively soon. Also, even more olives would be really nice, but it's getting a little bit far for this. I might have to start doing logistics, and that's not what I wanted. But it's better than having inefficiency, I guess. We'll see. Some money. I, I really want another four. It's a bit early. But I just don't want to deal with the natives. Running into the city. I hate when that happens. I hate it. If you do this, then they always go like this way, at least. So where do we have the attack from? It's here, right? Yeah. Put our forts here.
Money seems fine. We built another fort. Yeah, I know he wants the olives. I need to send them. I guess I'll stockpile them. And we will have to build that caravan sarai. So the costs for it are aged timber. Okay, we need timber as well. Does timber come from land? That's the question is probably C, right? Oh, it's land. It's actually the same with trader that sells me clay. Okay, let's stop accepting olives here. No, we do need that capacity, I guess. Um, we could just not do oil here, I guess. Do some timber. And the tag's done. See the olives stockpiles you. Got some bricks even. Uh, what did I cancel? Was that a popsicle stick wall? Yeah. Well, uh, I really need that caravanserai. I need it soon-ish. So I guess we start working on that. It's gonna be vital. If you want to feed our city, we need the capacitor. They'll need access to this thing, which means market lady access. Build a rock camp. And a foundation for the caravanserai. services this is reasonably far away I guess maybe it could use a boost but I don't really want to do that highway close for marble Oh yeah, this is the uh, this is the event. Governor, all costs of marble imports are excessively high, and we need to come up with a solution. Scouts have closely observed the situation in our native village and deciphered some occult rituals. There are several ways we can profit from these rituals, and you can choose one of the four options. The advantages and disadvantages of each decision depend on the monuments you choose to build in the middle of the stone circle, which serves as a cult site next to native hut. Warning in advance, mausoleums, nymphiums and oracle are now unlocked. However, you are only allowed to build one building from each of the four types. If you lay the foundations for more than one of these monuments, it will lead your city into ruin. After the monument is erected in the stone circle, you will be informed about the successful consequences of your action. And for the monuments of the mansion, building types can be erected without issues. So you choose one that you unlock and that's the one you have. Uh, for better decision, here's a list of advantages. Oracle City Mint is unlocked and the price of gold imports decreases to 50 denarii per unit. This allows you to melt the imported gold for 500 denarii in each, uh, each in the City Mint in a turn. Additional demands from the Emperor will be imposed. Small mausoleums. Uh, the mission post is unlocked and the placing nearby warehouse is allowed. Additional natives will become more peaceful and eventually cease their attacks on our city. That's what I need. That's what we'll be doing. So small mausoleum it is. Nymphine would be you can bribe official in Rome to unlock a trader out to Ostia. This official will secretly sell you small amount of uh, remaining marble and you'll have a discounted price is 1000 denarii. However, trader out to Rome will be closed and taxes can only be set to a maximum of 5%. Increase will, be, um, will lead to decrease in favor rates. Like, Large mausoleum, local resource of gold is unlocked, trade cities would each want to import 4 units per year, however the price of gold will increase by 100 denarii eventual until it reaches a minimum of 500. We will be doing small mausoleum, that's the most conservative option. It's good that you have different things to do, 
but I feel like the other ones have a lot of drawbacks. We don't want this highway to touch that block. It is vital, it does not touch that block. Also, this highway is extremely expensive. Okay. Caravan Sarai. We are building the thing, right? Yep. Yeah. Should monitor our money. Let's get another brickworks. I should stop. Uh, I should start getting some pottery actually as well. It's just expensive, but uh, what can you do? Some pottery. This warehouse will be source for. Um, all the manufactured goods, then we'll take it from here to other places on the map. Let's get just a couple. We can prepare a little bit. It can also accept clay. And we can maybe... Yeah, we don't get it, we accept it. And eventually it's gonna get here. This should not explode, I don't think. Maybe this middle part needs a service. Might actually. That cannot be a workshop anyway, because of reasons. Just put it there. Uh, send him the money, even though it's a bit risky, it's November. But my highway wife, yes. It is good. It is a very powerful thing. Stop following that oil a bit early, but that's fine. It's December. Okay, he is upset a little bit, but 51 favor is good. Um, this thing timber, stone, and bricks. We've got most of that. Now we need to make money. And we are making money. Uh, we need to be prepared though for the other thing. I, I'm thinking about it, like do we... Uh, do we give these people food yet? I feel like we just don't have enough import quantity yet and it would just result in a collapse. So at least this way I'm getting some stuff. Uh, we need to set this to accept only market ladies and accept pottery and furniture and oil. And we will build a depot to bring pottery from 9 to 7. Get more of that. I should go to Grand Insula relatively quickly. I have the entertainment for it. I just need workshops, get some furniture. Like food is just not that much of an increase for Grand Insula. It's the um, goods, but goods are actually relatively cheap compared to all the food we are importing. And Grand Insula will give us a lot of tax. So I'll be doing that. We need two card depots for this. Yes, now we are tanking with portals. Aren't we? Hopefully this will supply this without issues. Bring from 9 to 7. Did I set it incorrectly with the other one? 9 to 7. 9 to 7. Could have copied that setting. 9 to 7. Just need to also ensure the food. It's We are lacking so many workers. I need to start feeding. Uh, but it's disgusting. I don't know. I don't feel like we need to do, we, we can do that yet. 
we can try, but it's not gonna go well. I guess I have to. Let the food flow. Need two more depots for the food. Their houses are empty, which is not great, but it's still labor shortage is hurting a little bit. And also all the goods, of course. We need an arena. We need a lion pit. The pit full of lions. Give them some water area here. This could be a statue. Well, we need a library eventually. We'll have to think about that. A lot of these houses still hate where they live. It's gonna be fine. Desirability will be a struggle, I feel like. He wants stone. Yes, I should be making enough of it to send it eventually. It's just whenever they... They're satisfied with buying all of it. Usually sit on a bunch. Oh yeah, let's give them a school. And an amphitheater. And an arena. Arena's expensive, I'm gonna wait on that. But we do want to give them a form. Local uprising, not good. That is the natives. But we've we've been preparing for this. That's why we are here. So I don't trust that side at all. Because it's terrifying. They always run in straight into your economy, you see that? Like imagine you don't have your troops here. That's that would be bad. Super bad. Like this they don't feel I have a chance, I don't think. Yeah, Axelite Infantry just went to town in the column formation. The Rednecks. <laughs> the Rabbits. I just read the Rednecks. The Fortnite. These didn't even make it half the way. Imagine if you didn't expect that. Those natives would be right here before those strips could be right here. Uh, yeah. I would expect most people to build their industry here. So... It's very likely that it would happen to a lot of people on their first try. Let's get this. It's due to the invasion point being so close that makes them immediately just run into the city. They don't even wait half a second, they just immediately go for it. We need... Do we need an arena? We might need an arena. Hmm, expensive, but fine. Let's try to do a tag so like, even though it's really terrible. And people hate where they live, I bet you, yeah. I wish I could do something about it. Uh, we could build this, if it reaches anyone, but I doubt it. Uh, instead of this form, we could have a statue as well. That would help a little bit, I feel like. 3000 residents, great. We need something bigger around here. And food is scarce, we need to build this caravanserai. I don't pay some more wages, that's not good for me. Oh, by five, that's a big increase. Okay. <sighs> well. 
We'll see. We have medium insula, so we need a library. But they can get oil easily. It's the, it's the other goods that are lacking, and also food. Giving them the extra goods was a mistake, I think. This early on, before I get the caravan sarai. So it cost me. A couple of grand insula, though. Yeah, the food scarcity makes everything a mess. Kill this special sarai to send it. It's December. So wait, are you building the thing? Yes. Are you? Yes. There you go. The thing exists. I need to give it a policy. Increase trading. Let's give it... Um, we want the capacity, right? Exports would be good, but I think we want the capacity. Let's get the capacity. It's risky, though. And we should open another trader out when we can, if there is surplus to be made. Even if it's expensive, yeah, stone and olives and oil, let's do it. Should really be making more oil, even. If we have the labor, which we currently are getting, we should just expand it. Expand the olive mines. It is morally good to expand the olive mines. Even though it's getting a bit far, as I mentioned before. I think it's still good. Enough. That it doesn't actually, like, that the depot would cost me more in the end, I think. Money will be a problem, Stormy Seas. There's still sea trade to do. We should see an increase in quota of food. Let's take a look at that in practice. Yes, 500 and 500. Now we are supposed to imp Wasn't it 750? You changed this. You don't want people to be able to get away with it. You want me to import meat, don't you, you monster? You do. It's 25 meat. I don't want to import meat. It's not good. And it's 50. 50 units. It's like what five houses keep in the right <laughs> this the, the nest egg. Well, let's hope that the food is enough. We are taxing. Um we should get another warehouse. Also pottery is really scarce. Let's get a fair house here. I don't love this one, but I'll allow it. It's fine. Get some timber and clay imports. And we only need to make more goods. And they'll go back from here. They don't want to go this way. So we can put this there. Some more goods unnecessary. We did increase the oil, so hopefully it's gonna amount to something. Man, it's looking pretty terrible. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty terrible stone. A little sad, great, but okay. Price rise in stone is important. Could be the difference. I need to. 32 sand is a lot of sand. But, uh, like, whatever. I, I need a warehouse for just this stupid request. Fine, whatever. Fine, that's uh, apparently that's good. Fine, whatever. I'll do it. But it's not what I want. And I don't see anyone having this naturally. Why would you have 32 capacity for sand ever? It's ridiculous. Let's get this here. Sand. Uh, accept the whole lot and then I'll delete this. I will carpet bomb the shit out of this. Whenever that's. Um, you know, the request is taken care of. I don't really want to. Do we have more? Yes, we have more. 
You have labor surplus. I need to spend the labor. I need to make temples. I need to make so many things. Fine, whatever. This is when it gets overwhelming, usually, on this map. Last time it was the same story. Just everything's at once. You spend a ludicrous amount of money on your on your food, and just like yeah, this is still not fed, and there's like problems everywhere. People are upset. Uh, not good. Let's build the temples one problem at a time. I don't care if. If we don't make money with this, uh, it's gonna be a problem. They they will import the maximum quota for me though, and that's gonna probably murder the city's budget soon. So I need to be very careful. And stockpiling the sand is terrible for our industry, of course, but... Uh, well, let's do it. Let's isolate this from this block. Or block from this area. And we just want to use uh, depots to bring this sand over when it's done. This will do for now, then we'll do a depot. This depot is gonna do a sand. It's worth it to do, it's just, you know, again, it takes a while. I should also smotball this thing and then enable it once we send a request. We almost have enough. Dedicate warehouse for trade? Um, sell the bricks? No, I don't. I could. I think someone buys them. And I don't need them anymore, that's correct. That's a good point. Gave us a little bit of extra money. I think they don't want my stuff. Well, they're buying some oil. What's the current quota? What's the month? November. Let's take a look. They could buy furniture. I don't they don't want to sell that at the moment. Maybe later. Could still sell more olives, but it's hard to get them to that place. We could do it through that stone warehouse we made. Um, come to think of it, this is actually good for me, because now I will do a logistics warehouse. Which I didn't want to do in the first place. But now I actually like have a reason for it. So it will amount to something, I guess. Also, these temples. Is it inaccessible? It's inaccessible, isn't it? It's this corner, isn't it? It is. Here you go. They don't want any more sand. Man, is terrible. We'll be in debt. There's nothing I can do about that. It's now it's all the imports. It's still not enough. We could add a market to this. Two is clearly not enough. Oh, it's because this market just decided to so, to do half of the loop. Yeah, that makes sense. I could add another. It's fine. It's January. We didn't take a massive favor hit. Maybe we are good. I don't know. Let's put this forum here instead so we can have a market. I need to be very particular about what we invest into though. This is like on the knife's edge. We could die to something random relatively easily. I should make sure that these people can evolve though. If we can. These people complain about stuff. I f I'm sorry, I can't give you things. I will just... I'll do that. It's bad. I don't like doing that, but like, what, I, what do I have as a choice? When there is, you know, broken up terrain and I don't have plaza, I have to do that. I can't have nice things. This is almost full. We should reactivate this soon. Send it. Reactivate that. Set this to half. 
halvesies, and then let's do some olives. Halvesies. We can make more olives, we can sell that. That was one thing that we didn't export enough of. Also, this one is not connected. Five farms. Well, it justifies a depot. But it's better if it's more. Now with this, this is the tough part. I need to separate these. Let's get a depot here. And you'll do olives. Olives, where's olives? Olives from 11 to 8 or 2. I guess 2. Finish the highway. It's expensive, but I would like to finish this highway. Get these people some water area. Did acquire a library. That could actually be a good spot for a statue because we need that. What a pond. No, pond is too far away. Fine. It's a statue then. Get on insult attacks, it should help us. Quite a bit. We've got half the population required. I should really be building this as well. We've got the mausoleum, small mausoleum. Build it in the middle of the stone circle. It's exactly where natives don't reach. It's just for peace of mind, so we don't have to deal with the natives. And just connect it. Uh, it cannot burn, so it can just be connected like this. Is it cursed? Yes. Also, <laughs> fuck, fuck my life. I need to relocate one of my forts. Well, I'll wait until an attack happens then. I didn't think about that. It's a problem. We'll have to relocate this uh, auxiliary fort, unfortunately. Hmm, that sucks. How about goods? That is a lot. Goods are not the problem. Food is also fine. Desirability is still a massive problem for us. I might have to do another statue here. This high ground is helpful for these people. Because that boosts desirability. That's why the Conquered offers so much high ground. Because oftentimes you don't have to do plaza. In here, if there was plaza, I would really go for it, because it seems like I'm super starved for desirability. Olives, fine. We'll probably stockpile that. Naturally. Some people are Grand Insula, but uh, yeah, a lot of them just don't have the desirability. We'll see, I guess. This is such a mess of a city. Usually you evolve things all at once. Look at this. I have a shack. I've got three small insula. I've got a bunch of mediums, large, and some grunt. Also, a new supply hub is going to be a massive pain to set up. Uh, was there an unlock for Plaza either there? Maybe. I wasn't told that, I don't think. I could be wrong, though. Hmm. Uh, we will be getting a benefit when we build Grand Temple to Mercury, but that requires marble. Each piece of marble is 3000. 
So that's insane. I, I'm waiting for another attack, so we can relocate this. In the meantime, we should make another fort. Just thinking how to... How to put this here without just throwing too much space. I guess we put it there. More olives. Oh yeah, we probably want a concrete maker. Let's make two of them here. Let's do an extra reservoir. Invasion imminent, yes, we know about that. Be handy to be able to reassign soldiers from one fort to another. Um, yeah, but I suspect that would be like a lot of work. If you delete the fort, it kills them, yeah. Yeah, it's not a bad idea, I just imagine there's a reason why we don't have that. And the reason is, it probably the amount of work required is probably outstripping the benefits. But, I don't know. What do you want? Religion? Okay. Fine. I might need more gods anyway. Even though it is expensive to do. Mars. Oh no, I can't, I can't, I can't have that there because this corner. What was that? Mars Temple? Yeah. Now do they all have the same temple count? Let's wait. Let's see. Five, yes. We can send the olives. Favor's fine. As long as we don't go into debt, which is constantly a threat, of course. It's October. I think our quota is kinda dead. At the moment, yeah. They just want to sell me stuff. They don't want to buy any more of my stuff. I've been overspending slightly this year. We can check finances tab. There are still trade routes to open. I should really look at that next year. Um, imports 17,000 imports. Jesus. Last year it was 13,000. This is insane. Wages uh, 6,000. Construction. I've built stuff for 4,300. That's not really that much. 1,300 levies. 1,400. Sundar is 500, that's tri tribute. Trade receipts 21,000, taxes 4,000. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, money is stable. We just. Favor is also fine, so like, it's not bad to be in debt, but I, I just don't like it because then it's terrible. I feel like I'm losing. Probably. Because it's the situation we had last time where they stockpiled the food in their houses, right? And so each house has effectively 300 denarii worth of money in it. This is like... that's ridiculous. Um, we could do the sea trade. They buy more stone, which we are making. It is worth it. They also buy oil. Do it. This needs to accept some oil. You bring oil. Bring it from 9 to 5. 5. And we should focus on making sure that we produce enough of it. Um, still feel like we quite... We are quite there. So we probably should add a couple more. This is gonna be a massive mess. If I connect this, that's gonna be terrible. So I need to be very careful. And not to connect these things. Now, is this safe? I doubt it. Yeah. Well, the game says it's fine. 
So I'm gonna try to put in another prefect and see what happens. Favors a resource. It is unless you end up in a death spiral. Bloody hoarders, don't, don't they know refrigerators have been invented yet? Yeah. I mean, it's one, one farm produces enough food so that one house keeps all of that food stockpiled in it at all times. We need to put up the posters from Second World War, like, don't hoard. <laughs> don't hoard this, don't hoard that. Yeah. It is a problem, but not because of war. Stupid. Fine. Oh, I need to I need to do this. I need to do it real bad, but I'm afraid the natives will come to town when I do that. I'll probably build another fort for Auxilia around here, and then we will open that up. Hopefully I'm not gonna die. Like the second I delete this, my luck dictates that now immediately an invasion starts from the natives. I've not be surprised. So I have some of the worst luck I've ever seen. Some of this desirability. I I need plaza. I need plaza bad. But I don't know if there is plaza. Also the trade swarm is real. Now money is okay. It's because the houses are finally stocked up, I guess. We will need labor. I, I prepared this. Actually, we can have a couple extra houses here. If we didn't care about this, then even more. So, are we gonna build this thing? Oh, it wants marble! Uh -huh. Pain! Where, is, where does marble come from? It's from Rome. Oh yeah, of course. Let's accept marble. I can't, I can't. It's 3000 per piece. If I do it, I'll die. Because through, throughout the whole year we need to import food. And that's a big expense. If I do it, I'm gonna die. Every single piece of marble is like three fourths. <laughs> um, nine thousand. I I don't feel confident doing that. Hmm. Yeah. If there is more all to sell, which there could be, I need to check quota in uh, December. There is another trade route uh, for C, which would buy some stone. We could make quarries if I had labor. Also, are people upset at me? Yes. Because I'm taxing them. A bit. Mm. At least uh, our taxes outstrip our wages. Because Grand Insula forgives crimes against the building. He wants oil, he can have it. Could put some oil here. But do we want to? I guess we want to. Also, I need to be careful of not infringing on the other space, of course. That's important. I know. It's fine. Where is the thing? Oil, bring it to warehouse 2. Yeah, for selling. Bad people. I'll use the auxilia as well.
didn't want to switch them out of the formation. Just mop up normally, it's fine. Grateful. All right. Well, five thousand. Yeah. I suspect if we imported that marble, that would have been terrible. But we'll be doing some oil now, so hopefully that's gonna free up some space in here. I was thinking about that other trader. That's the last one. We could do it. Uh, it will require extra stone. Oh, they buy olives as well. But uh, yeah, I could reduce the amount of stone we have here and do some olives instead. We seem to be sitting on a bunch here. Bring olives. Blind. Bring it from 11. Bring it to 5. There you go. We could do another dock, but it seems like... Do we need it? We might. Let's get it. Also, these tents, they need water. Do it. It's gonna give us a couple of extra workers when they evolve. One, two, one, two, one, two. Explosion. What did I neglect? Yeah, I suspected he does not do his job. Didn't we talk about it? It's like, yeah, the game says it's fine. Suddenly it's not. What a shocker. Who could have predicted that? Somewhat would not do their job for Helen Caesar. It's fine. City of Igiligili, breaking news. There has been an explosion at the oil refinery. Yes. Who is to blame? Freaking foreman. Uh, Alright. We have 10,000. I'm gonna import two pieces of marble. We'll make a depot for this thing. We also need to get a warehouse for this. Mm. Do I have space anywhere? Probably not. It is completely full. We could sell more bricks, I suspect. Let's add a workshop here. It's not optimal, but fine. Uh, yeah, so we need a warehouse for this as well. Which is terrible. This thing. I'm just gonna get the marble. It's fine. Oh, they, they sold me four. No, stop. Freaks, that's 12,000 denarii. We're gonna die to that, aren't we? Well, it's here. Now they'll use it to build a thing, which is important, apparently. Well, it is important. Uh, wasn't there an unlock for, like, uh, if you could get plaza from some of the events, even if they're bad, I would really go for it. More food is needed. Uh, workshops unlocked now. Wasn't there a thing? Uh, costs for marble? Oh, uh, yeah. No, none of it unlocks plaza, I don't think. We will have mausoleums, but they are not great. Grantable Mercury, right. I wasn't told that. It just tells you benefits of other gods. But if it unlocks plaza, that's gonna be good. Because the terrain is so rugged, I can't evolve these people. I would have to... Um, you know, it's gonna be extremely hard to do. School doesn't do its job. 
Who could have predicted that? Again, it's this thing breaking, of course. Slightly too large. It's okay. We will need that Mercury Temple, but it's gonna be extremely, extremely expensive. Uh, we need money, so we can send it to Caesar. Also, are they gonna build the thing? They've broke the marble. He's upset. It's the 12,000 marble cost. That's what it is. Exactly what it is. Oh, because I imported... For oh, yeah, we still have auto cycle for gardens, even though there are no gardens. Um, things. Yeah, uh, what I want to say is... It's 3,000 per piece. They imported four instead of two, so that cost me basically all of our money. It's December. Now our trade is exhausted. I've opened every single trade route. Let's check the trade. They could sell furniture, but I don't want to do that, I don't think. Weapons. Oh, there's this. For oil. I can't do it yet, but we'll do it next year. It's 8 oil. Not great, but it's income. We need any sort of income. Otherwise we are capped, pretty much. Otherwise we would have to stop processing weapons. Is it worth it to do? Iron is uh, 80, you sell weapons for 180, you make 100 denarii. Minus costs in logistics and wages. Small mausoleum is built. You can now build oracles, mausoleum and infamous without fearing consequences. Okay. Oracle here could solve it. Then I would have to find out a way to build this bathhouse elsewhere. Uh, I'll just wait. So did it destroy the natives? It destroyed the natives, we can build a warehouse for them now. And maybe they don't attack me anymore? We could start selling them oil. Need a mission post. Don't really care about this too much. Where is he gonna spawn is the question though. We'll have to see. You don't want to build an Oracle? 6,000? Yeah, it's not worth it. So why the prosperity goal is only 75? I thought about making it 70, but my test run, yeah, I reached 76. Yep. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard because we will probably still have some people without uh, being grand insula. Have you been tamed? Are you my pet now? Yes. Good. I would like to see them spawn the traders so I can see where they spawn. Oh no, he spawns from that little squiggle. You monster! Okay, fine. Whatever. I'll do it. The little freak. Of course he spawns the worst possible place. Fine. It's fine. This thing. Let's accept land traders. We have to. But we need to focus on something. What do we sell them? I guess it's oil, but it's gonna also disrupt our traders. Possibly. We need to always have oil already waiting here, which is a problem because there is not always oil. What we could do is cut this off and count the farms, count the workshops, make it a separate area for production and do logistics instead. But I really want to do that. Let's get this. Bring oil from 11 to 13. We should also probably bring something else here. Mm. No, let's do just oil. It's fine. How many farms do we have here? It's eight. We could have more workshops, even though it is cutting into our olive production a bit. Workers, not great. We 
dedicated to all warehouse in both spots. Yeah, I don't want to do that though. What we need is... We need to import some marble and start working on building that Grand Temple to Mercury. I would like Venus so much better, but no. Uh, okay, where do we build this as well? This is for new blocks. I'll have to build stuff in here. Um, this needs to be relatively close though, so like, I could build it here, I guess. No, I can't. Mm. It could be here. Just need to eliminate this statue and build something else instead. Let's... Do we try to... Do we risk it? I don't know. Maybe I do need a dedicated warehouse. Let's count the farms. So we've got... If we do this, then this one will spawn in here, is it? Can I see your path preview, please? I don't think I can. These farms... The old farms don't have path preview. Somehow. Yeah, they don't. No, they should spawn in here. So that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that would be 22 workshops. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Cut this off. Now the warehouse question. Also, this is now closed. I need to be careful. Open this up. Let's get a warehouse. Let it have access, but roadblock this. This thing, no trade. Get oil. Oh, just pull it. It's fine. And let's get a couple of depots. Oil. Let's wait. You bring it from fourteen. You bring it to two. Paste it. You bring it to. 13. There you go. There are no global pool. <laughs> it will show you the preview. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it would, yes. <laughs> it would. It would just not be very good. Also, I'm lacking workers. We need a new block. We need it now. Which is terrible. I don't want I don't want to build another block. Especially since food already seems terrible. Mm. I don't know. I don't want to do another block yet. It's terrible. I, my food is already bottomed out in the source granary. Fire. Uh, why cannot you do your job once? Oh, it's because this is now... Yeah, okay. Well, that's a fair point. Because I cut off this service. Well, hopefully we can extinguish that. Blessing from Venus. The oil must flow. Still got loads of olives here. We could use uh, some more. 
production. I was just thinking about allocating some sand pits over here as well, but hmm, probably not worth the hassle. I need to labor. I need to block. I need to do it. Even though it's terrible and I, I really don't want to. I think I have to. No, no, no. Okay, well, that's gone. It's two workshops. I'm getting sloppy. I need to be careful. Did we import marble? Am I importing marble? I think I am, but I haven't set a... Uh... No, I'm not. Well, money's terrible. I can't really do that yet. At least the blessing made us younger a little bit, the city. How about the temple? It's the first stage is done, which is nice. We could allocate our architect, put it closer. Got big rocks here instead. New year. Let's try to import some marble, but I'm gonna regret this. Let's eliminate a quote. This is gonna be brutal. Absolutely brutal. Oh boy. Yeah. There it go. Let's shut it off. Shut it off. Turn it off. Oh boy. Yeah. I know. I know you hate precious stones. Twenty concrete. We have the concrete cookers. We should be good. Walter is working overtime. We've got some timber need. That's fine. We can get that easily. I could sell some furniture, but I don't feel like that's what we want. Oh no! What was that? Explosion. Because this apparently does not work. Oh yeah. Well, I didn't see that. Oh boy. Explosion. Explosion. That's another farm. I can't put this here though. Oh no! <laughs> Desert. You're gonna love it. Mm. Workshop, workshop. Farm. It's a farm. And workshops. I would like to put this one elsewhere because I need an opening there. I just realized that for military reasons, it would be better. Oh, it's fine. We solved it. Kind of. This one is a problem. Uh, I could do this still. It could contribute to these and then we could possibly get like two extra here. This is spaghetti, I know, but... Well, we have to do something, so let's go ahead and do it. It's gonna be more oil. There's a lot of oil. Oh no! How did this happen? How did this happen? Did the natives go apeshit or something? It's this hot, isn't it? It's dead hot. It is dead hot. Okay, fine, whatever. We can also do something else. We can do... Well, can I fit this? Yes. Do that instead. Let them be calmed down. Put this thing adjacent to that. Even though it might need an actual physical access to the universe. Ugh. They destroy the mausoleum. That's that's a little expensive. Also, my depots. Where am I gonna find these depots? I have no idea. Let's see. So this warehouse needs to be active. Now we can bring oil to it. Uh, we've also had another, didn't we? Weren't we bringing oil to it from another place? Yeah. 14. There we go. 
Two natives, yes. You got off one workshop and one farm, I think. Before? Probably. Now it shouldn't, right? Everything should be fine. This workshop is inactive. That needs to go here and farm. Did I cut off a farm? A lot of bricks. I don't have the capacity to make so many or stockpile them. We also need them for the monument building. Let's accept some bricks in here. We need labor though. That's the main issue we have. We need workers. This will help, but... That's pretty terrible. People are also complaining. So I'm taxing them. Let's cry. Because there's no surplus entertainment. The one that just exploded, okay. It caused a massive wildfire. Oh no, what is it again? Just do your freaking job for once. Oh, you went here, okay. Yeah, I don't need that connection anymore. This is infuriating. I'm sorry, that's... Do your job. Do it. No! Taunt. Spread. It was even showing. Oh, he frequents this very often. Yeah, very often. No. It's a desert, I get it, but like, it's, if it's a bright blue, then you would suspect that he would, or dark blue, you would suspect he actually does his job. But no, that's too much to ask. Now oh, let's see if we can make any money off of this. We did set up the depots, right? Select a source. Oh, it's... What is this warehouse called then? 13, okay. Set it up. Bring it from 11. Bring it to 13. There you go, it was poorly set up. Yeah, it's the worst, the snowball thing. Where is an explosion? Why? Are the natives upset? Is the natives? No, it's it's a trigger. You are destroying things with the trigger. You are destroying things with the trigger. I can't trade with the na- No, fine. Okay, whatever. I choose an event. Doesn't work. It's an oversight, by the way. It repeats the destruction. So it's not me. It's just that this is just waste of effort and time and energy to do. It's an oversight, it's a bug, basically. Let's bring this to the docks then. I shouldn't have removed that, but I just have done. I'm so done. Paint to five. No, it, it do not need to check it, it's there. That's it. Bring it from eleven to two. It, that's it, for sure. It's collapse. I don't get notified. It's not the natives. It must be the event. The collapse event. He wants a bunch of garbage. Great. I wish I had that so I could send it, but we don't. So let's wait. It's February. Uh. We do overhear this oil. I can't sell it. I can't sell it to the natives. This is gonna buy something sometimes. Okay, what do we need for this stage? Still concrete? I have two. That's not amazing, but it should be good enough. It's the distance it's causing delays. It's an attack. We can stockpile money at least, I guess. That's kinda what we need. Set these a bit more back mm, immediately attack that's not great mm, also moving them gets rid of their bonus 
from the column. That's why it's usually not a good idea. But the attacks are small enough that we can deal with it. Lost a couple of guys. Okay, it's time to bite the bullet. Import some more marble. Terrible again. Yeah, we imported a whole bunch of marble. I need to stop. We do have enough of it in the city now, though, that maybe it's fine. We can at least build a thing. You'll see. Need two more concrete. It's September, our quota is depleted, so now it's gonna be tough. He wants oil. At least we can keep him happy. That's good. But yeah, money is gonna be terrible this year, so he's gonna hate that. We cannot pay tribute. Send him the sand. It's December. It's January. Alright, let's see the, the temple. They're building it. Marble. <laughs> now it's the marble costs. I guess I'm gonna do it. Another block doesn't make sense at this point. I don't think. We could do some weapons industry or something, but uh, yeah, also I don't think he's getting these bricks. Marble, yeah. More marble, aka marble. Uh. Rise House and Weapons is helpful when we start doing them. Should need a block for that. Am I importing marble? Did I click the button? Yes. Just need a ship and there will be problems, I guess. Alright. <laughs> Fun with maps, no jutsu. What? You mean the thing? The collapse? No, it's like, I know how easy it is to make mistakes like that, it's just infuriating when it happens. It's like, that's a very substantial part of my income just completely gone. Um, and marble is still pretty expensive, 3000 is still a lot of money for this thing. So when I have to sit here forever, that's great. I could make a block, but I feel like that would be terrible, because the food doesn't seem stable. So that. I, f I feel like that's a mistake, making another block. Because this, look at this, the source is empty. The moment I add another, what's gonna happen is these people will suddenly run out of food and this needs to be stable so we get taxes and workers, otherwise we die. But I actually think I might be able to get away with using just one source. No, I can't, this aqueduct is... Cheekage. <laughs> I got away with murder, we can do it. We can put something here. Good. <laughs> this is great that this map is giving you so much content, is it? I mean, it's the second stream of it, so... But usually I don't love playing maps for too long. But this one, I feel like I have to sit here. Only in event 18 and 20 is force collapse, 18 uh, fires when status is 99 and 20 fires when status, status is 1, your status variable is 3. I don't care, just fix it, this is not supposed to happen. Like, wh why do I have to care about that? The thing is, it kills my warehouse and the mission post. It's not the natives, it's not the fire, it's this event. I don't know how, I don't care why. Just, maybe it shouldn't be there, for people who choose that option. Terra took- no, it didn't. That Terra took tries for Zack, not for me, I crushed it in a single attempt. Um, crushed it twice, um, each time a single stream. 
but I've played other maps that take uh, restarts or whatever, but usually I don't like it. Because for streaming it's terrible to have to restart. We didn't have to yet, but this money looks really, really dangerous this December. Let's wait. I have to wait. What about the building? Did we give it marble? Six marble, we have four here. Oh, well, it's a lot of money sunk into marble. January. I might have to start again. Start it again. I might have to start marble again, even though I don't want to. We need to build that temple. Without a temple, stuff is just brutal. City's blessing is really not applicable here. Also, boy, stop. Stop it. I would like to get more, but uh, I don't feel like we can support it. We need three more pieces. Yeah, they, they sold me another piece. Just as I said, I don't want any more. Well, it's gonna give us uh, most of the marble for this stage, at least. It's terrifying, though. It's really... A lot. Maybe try to stockpile the stone. It's really a bad idea. Let it... let it... be sold. Yeah, I'm, I have money problems now. Got slight love of that, then immediately back into that. How much marble do we need for this? Two pieces. We need 6,000. I cannot spend 6,000. They buy more stone. That's good. Could have been useful earlier, perhaps. I don't have the workers to set it up anyway. Just pretty terrible for me. Can throw trading at the warehouse if you have to prevent it from trading that last unit. But that's micro and I refuse to do it. I refuse to do that. I know, but I don't do that. It's also gonna disrupt the other trade. No, I don't want that in my life. That's no life shit. Get it out of here. Get it out of my face. That's things you do, that's not things I do, okay? I know you can't do that, but do you have a life if you do that? No. You accept the game's jank. Same as I build a lighthouse near the pond because I can, and because it's despicable. And I, it's my protest against the fact it's possible. Same as it is with this. I say something, they don't do it. Maybe they devs will fix it when they see me complain about it so many times. If I just, oh yeah, it looks like no life it. That's not a solution to a problem. That's persistent. Got some money again, but can I support the marble imports? We are losing favor each year. 36 favor is really terrible. I've got some savings. Send him a gift. Been here 10 years since the last gift, or 11 years. I need the marble. I need to import the marble. I need to import two last pieces. When that's gonna happen, we'll be able to build a temple finally. And then we can do something with our life. Mercury's blessing is okay, I guess. Gives us some resources, but not much. Okay, one piece. Two pieces. Stop. I could do the thing. I could hit mod ball on that. No. This is what happens. So they don't they don't realize that there is a cooldown between the ticks in the game, like in-game days, I think. They need to realize that the quota is actually for all you set something and they can still sell you that last unit. Usually this is not a problem. It is significantly more of a problem when a single piece of marble costs more than three fourths. Uh, that it's a problem. But it's fine. We probably still survive with the trade. Mm-hmm. Somehow my workers went up, not down, recently. What's my demographics? This is strange. Census. Oh yeah, a lot of our people, we've got most people after 30. They will still work for a long time. I guess we had a lot of kids from that tent phase. And they just grew up. Venus Blessing, yes. But that was like not consistent, that happened once or twice. 
I think it's the 10th phase that resulted in a lot of death and then that meant a lot of kids and then those kids were basically a dead weight and then they grew up, right? What's the 30 people? How long have we been playing? It started at 100. We've been here 16 years. That doesn't seem right. I have no idea. But people will get old soon. Some of them will. Right now it's almost none of them. Soon it's gonna be a lot of them. You see 60 and yeah, a couple of people are getting to 60. My only benefit is if our health is not perfect. I'll have to see. Okay, let's wait. Pyramid looks right for 16 years. Does it? I, it must, because it's 16 years, right? So, like, obviously it's right. But... 30? So... How... So that this would mean that most people arrived with immigrants as ki kids, but that doesn't happen. Immigrants don't bring too many kids with them. When an immigrant comes to the city, usually it's like a distribution of population, and most of them are working age. They do not bring disproportionate number of kids with them. So that doesn't make sense to me. Why it's like that. To Venus Blessings is minus six years. So it's the kids that were born due to the plagues. Then, from the tenth. From the tenth phase, I guess. And that's 24 years and we've been here... Yeah, 26. So that makes sense. So it's what I suspected. It's just the Venus kind of threw a wrench in that. In a way, that's good for us because we set up, uh, we set it up in such a way that now, like long term, it's good. The city is not gonna get too old too quickly because of that tent phase. We need those marbles. What? <laughs> it. They need one more marble so they can actually bring it. They cannot bring it if there is only three. Because that's how getting warehouses work. I need to buy a piece. They're mid thirties. Does they should be like thirties, early forties with a Venus? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it delayed the demographic collapse effectively, but not just Venus, but the fact the tent phase happened. Because then we wouldn't have these kids if uh, we didn't have the tent phase. You gonna sell me marble? There you go. Stop. Finish this thing and then we'll build the last block. Oh, last block. That's pretty optimistic. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's 8,000. I don't know how many I can squeeze in here. Let's do current for cap. It's full, right? Yeah. We don't get to 5,000 from this, I don't think. Could put houses here if we, if we do the thing. Let's see this. What am I doing? Not that. Well, it is a road, so we need to get rid of that anyway. Plus, pretty cursed. this we might have to do two blocks and I, I really don't want to do two blocks but I may be forced to do it also this block is gonna be pretty cursed one two one two one two is this good is it's a bit far 94 houses get an insula 84 each so like that would be what what we ne what we need yeah well I'm nowhere near that we need to get the desirability sorted catch the marble he's bringing it
do it. There will be another stage. Let it not be marble. It's 12 marble, fuck. So that's 36,000 denari. Mm. Well, um, I can't do that. I guess I'm gonna do a block first, expand the industry. Uh, these are devolving, why? What are they? Well, that is enough. Supplying it is a problem, apparently. Okay, well. Yeah, let's do it. Also, I just realized watering these people it might be a bit of a problem. Let's hope I can figure something out. That helps. And then this. If we had a native trade, I don't think we would need this. Because we could sell them oil and a mess. I'm, I'm massively overproducing oil because I can't physically sell enough of it. Um, yeah. It's just without the natives, I can't. I can't do that. Let's get a barber. Here we need more prefects. We need like three of them. So a, we should have three, yeah. Let's get this, let's get that, let's get a bathhouse. We need markets around here. I should be very careful what I build and where. Does it cover the block? Yes. 28 times uh, 3,000, 84,000 denarii. Another 40 or so houses, yeah. Morris says, I found a Rome city of bricks and ruthlessly demanded igla gila gila you know, <laughs> that a good place to send me here some Augustus. Yeah. Uh. This is gonna be terrible, I know it. Once we tap the source, it might result in a collapse of our housing. So the supply problems. It's December, we still have a little bit of money at least. This is gonna cause crime now. These people hate that they live in tents. It's fine, I'll give you... Entertainment. Money, I know, it's fine. It's 44 favor actually, it's not that fine. So 44 houses, how many is this? I have no idea. I hope this is enough. I don't want to make another block after this. But it's gonna be tough. Might have to put houses here. All right, maybe the total. I'm tempted to try and import some marble, but I know it's not a good idea. I'm gonna die. Uh, let's see, send him a gift. Import a little bit of marble. When we get the extra labor, we need to start doing more stone. From place more wages. That's awful. That's really bad for me, actually. That's like really, really, really bad.
Fine. They do not need nice things. Starvation in the desert is also an option, you know. You do not need water. You just die when you don't have it. But you don't need it. You can also just die. Have you thought about that? Hmm? Get some stone. 16 units. He often asks for it, so it's really fine. Let's get a get a depot. Depot go burr. Depot go burr from here. Let's wait. Activate the mines. 13, 2. Is it 1? Yeah, 2, 1. This thing, yeah. Uh, let's give them some water. It's gonna, no matter how I do it, it's gonna shoot the statue I want here in the foot, but I do want it, so I actually think I'm gonna do double fountain. It's terrible, but it's because that is wider than it usually is, and I had to make it wider because of reasons. That could be a thing already, but I'll wait. Storms. It's terrible. But we have a caravan sarai, so hopefully. Oh, I need to stop. I need to stop. I've imported too much marble. Stop. I'm out of credit. I can't even build anything. Two marble, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Making any money is gonna be extremely difficult. Uh, invasion. If you get invaded by Caesar, we are dead, by the way. Not sure if I needed to spell that out for you, but uh, yeah. He's gonna get upset. It'll be- no, it won't. It won't be fine. It's 9,000 in debt. The interest alone is gonna be massive for this. I keep selling everything I can, but... Uh, it's a lot. Move back. Let them, let them advance. No, you don't. Okay, yeah. They were running through. This is me. I'm out of credit. Those spooky corpses. I know. Turn of food until death solved. That's no life solution. If map requires that, sorry. It's no life. I'll do it, but like, what are these solutions, man? It's just like, why do you send this to me then? It's like, I'm not having, sorry, but this is ridiculous. The map is still ridiculous. Haven't I mentioned it with the marble? Oh, there was someone mentioning how marble prices are completely bonkers. Yeah, they were right. Uh, who could have predicted that? We need to not spend any money. We need to just keep making... Keep making... Money, get out of debt. Get out of the freaking debt! He's gonna get very mad soon. Yep, yeah, 30 favor. Get out of debt. Import. Again. Now, by, if I, how, am I, how am I gonna solve this? I don't know. I have some workers. We need to start making weapons, I think. Even though that's gonna be imports, meaning that my money is gonna go down to shitter again. Mm. Just another fountain, I guess. Right, so these people will become large tents. We need to work. We need to get work for them, though. Uh, can we physically? Yeah, this stone is fine. What we need is weapons, but I need to process it elsewhere. I can't process it here, which is gonna mean another kind of 
um, warehouse or area for it. And it's two depots at minimum. I guess we do it. I don't have options. Let's accept some iron. We also accept less sand in here. Accept some iron, accept some weapons. Let's get a warehouse. This is risky though. This could easily result in us dying from death. But I need to do something and the something is gonna be this. The weapons industry. There's no nothing left to do. Uh... I've been sitting here for years. The shackening begins, yeah. Well, yeah, I've been here for years. I still don't think this is a good map for streaming. Like, the, the mar you did the marble price, the only thing it does, it delays you for decades. It's just absolutely infuriating to play. Okay. In the Conquer, the quotas are so large that it's completely different. This is lacking that key component. Um, it's like iron. Let's wait forever until this activates. It's fine. No? Okay. Do you... Oh, I didn't set this up. Let's accept some iron. Eight, because we can't do more. And eight of that. Well, it's not accepting a trade. So it's really terrible. Uh, bring iron from a one to 15. And then we bring weapons back. This is gonna take time to kick in though, so like I could... I could feasibly die from that until it happens, or before that happens, rather. Send him a gift, we need to do any, any sort of favor. Gain is good, we are 33 favor. Oh yeah, I should start importing the, mar the iron. Let's check. We're almost done with the temple though, like, it's the last stage, it's just... Each stage is like 30 plus thousand, this is 36 thousand just for marble alone. And we almost have the bricks, we need half the marble. And that is no more marble here, so six. Um, okay. It's 12,000 denarii in marble. No, you there, you freaking freak. Some iron. Oh, this is. Yeah, how about we don't do that? Oh, I, I'm out of credit. Did I just start importing marble again? No, I didn't. So, the debt is from food. Great. That's great. 7,000 debt. That's great. Great. Yeah. Amazing. I didn't even start feeding this new block yet. February. 22 favor. I can at least... Open this up more now. Ugh. Sell some weapons. Oh, I should I should sell, uh, tell them to do that. I think they don't do that. Not import, sell. Take some money, any money, any money at all. I'm not even importing marble, we are dying to fucking dead. It won't be fine, it's done. What monument did you build for the side quest? Small mausoleum which resulted in the event being bugged and demolished my warehouse and mission post. So I can't trade with the natives. We have a little bit of money. That means nothing. That goes away like nothing. So... Wait forever. What about the iron? We need more iron in here. Um, seems like the quota is insufficient for it. Oh, I can open this. They buy processed goods. They buy some more oil. I, do I have the money for that? Sort of. I'll risk it. I have to risk it. I didn't even notice this city. Where is it? Where is this damn city? Is this? That's right. Yeah, I don't. I can't sell pottery or furniture. I don't think we don't have the capacity for that. 
but it is tempting. Almost done with the thing. Kill this patch instead to send him anything and everything he requires. Desperately need favor. What about gifts? Yes, send a small gift. Looting in the city. Yeah, it's the tents. It's the tents. I can't feed them. I can't. I can't physically feed them. It cost me too much. Buy all the garbage. Buy it. Then people rise up. Uh, increased trading of oil. Just yeah, great. You've set up the events to take place so long after the start that preferably I would not be here anymore. Yet now quota rise. Great. I would have used that maybe a little bit sooner. Not but I'm almost dead. Dude, freaking dead. No, it's December. I'm in debt. I didn't import Marvel this year, nor did I the last year. We need a warehouse for sand, just for the stupid request. And I can't feed my people because it would cause me even more debt. This is terrible. Need another iron ox, I guess. That's the that's the issue there. Bring it. Reminder, he can get it. He can take his sand and sort of. Seven thousand. It seems like oh, it's fine, right? No, it's not fine. The moment I fuck up, it doesn't take much. With this amount of exports or sorry imports, you do. It's insane. You will. Uh, very quickly lose if you mismanage this very slightly. I'm making almost nothing in tax compared to how much imports and wages there are. It's 40 already. It's 44 actually because I have to pay them extra otherwise they would ri rise up. This is terrible. Uh. What can I do? I don't know. Maybe some more oil should should be there constantly. Need a new depot. I have to attend to it, just give me a second. Bring oil from 14 to 2. Where's the attack? It's here. Oh, that's not good because they, over, they often run straight in. Hopefully they don't this time. The auxiliary infantry absolutely shreds the medians. Eight thousand. That doesn't feel safe. I don't know. I need to wait. We have thirty-two favor at least, but I still don't feel like we can handle a year in debt if I do it. Sort of. Well, what else can I tell him? This is a problem. Uh, extra desirability. Extra desirability for everyone. I guess. It's expensive, but it's not as expensive as marble. Or food. This, this, this is a problem. But I need these to be houses. Give them a fountain. Hopefully extra desirability and entertainment will help. I could uh, already connect to the supply hub. This is ridiculously bad. I need to put in a highway for this. Ex this is so expensive though. I'll try to do without highway. I think squiggles would help. 
to cut back on the travel time slightly. Now destination walkers from here should reach the entertainment. Another attack. Okay. I need to wait for years to import the marble. I can't import it now or we die. But it's almost done the temple. It needs like six more pieces. Which is twelve thousand money to spend on marble. <sighs> Naked sand people stand no chance against the forces of mankind. Probably, but this is not even how Numidians historically fought. Not to mention it portrays them a bit weirdly. It's again, it, it, the historical inaccuracy of Caesar is omnipresent and omnipotent. Just accept it. It's native kind of enemy that's quick and uh, weak. Whatever. Go back to four. We got nine thousand, but it's November. I need to wait. Next year we'll do it. I'll open it next year. I constantly keep microing the gifts. Yeah, imagine I imported four pieces of marble, I would be in debt right now. In insane debt. But we have to do it now, and I, I'm I'm dreading it because it's gonna be terrible, but I have to do it. If we don't do it we die, so yeah. Also each time the iron is insufficient. This amount of workshops can't be supported apparently. Did we import marble? There is five in there. So like Carter want us wave it some more, right? No, he just collected it. I need to be very careful here. I'll stop. I'll stop for a moment. Yep, he's getting upset. Check quota. Oh yeah, I can. It's a good idea. Six, yes. exactly what I need but uh, he's not gonna bring it because now there is two pieces here three pieces um, I could use a depot to bring it instead of him because he's not gonna do it he does not like to do it um, do I have a depot that's kind of doing nothing probably not but we do have some workers so let's just put a depot down then I can 66 that thing later where do we put this? Just, you know what? You are living here. I don't care. You bring marble. You bring it to warehouse 12 from warehouse 5. This is your life. Do it. Looks like the actor was riding on the cart. So the sprite overlap. I know. You hate the city, that's fine. You cease to exist. We have the marble. It's the last piece of the puzzle. Uh, it's... 10. When you are in debt for two years in a row, he's gonna drop your favor to 10 regardless of what it was. You would know that if you watch my videos on Caesar, which I asked you several times to do. Which maybe you should finish the campaign first before you start criticizing me for things. Um, five. This means nothing. This spasmatic uh, is just because you are in debt, out of debt, in debt, out of debt. This is what it is, but it doesn't actually hit your favor. It only hits it uh, when you cannot pay tribute, like right now. Build the thing. 
furniture and pull that out. Boy. Okay. That will help us a little bit. Now we need to somehow get these people to evolve and not die from unemployment. Uh, it's, that's going to be a major concern. Rather shanks oxen with your mouth. Why do you keep mentioning like the unspeakable things? <laughs> Grand Temple to Mercury is completed. Great. I'm sorry, that didn't feel good. I didn't feel good about this, playing this. It's awful. Mm -hmm. What do I get? No more issues with C-Trade. Amazing. 10 units of each type of food per year, provided uh, the capacities allow for it. So, there is an incentive to give them meat. Still. Plaza is unlocked and 300 denarii per year to alleviate the costs of the military. So now we get money per year? Was it per year? Or per month? That's a massive benefit, but the costs of building that thing... Uh, per year, okay. And the food, uh, the food, uh, food surplus is gonna be great. We need to do it. We should set this up. We should set up a granary. We should set it up here. We should give it. Well, it doesn't need that access. What it needs to do is, what it needs to do is accept meat, and yep, yeah, just meat, and accept market ladies. We need to give it protection against collapse and fire. What we need is to give it, uh, we need to go into our markets, forbid them from getting meat. We have three here, we've got garden markets. That's a market. Do I only have one market in this block? I do. It's pretty small, so I guess it works out. And now the biggest prize of all, plaza. Let them eat disgusting Hawaiian plaza. Do it. It helped. It didn't solve it. It's not like Venus. Ugh. Library? Seriously? Yeah, it's the power thing again. It's... Power thing strikes again. Okay, fine. Fine. Whatever. I can do that. I can... I can do that. That's fine. Here they come. Let's go to library. Plaza. We need to not die from unemployment though, and that's gonna be a significant concern. Let's give them Mercury Temple. I need to build spam anyway. Where do we build spam? Um, I guess here. Mars, Venus, the Ceres, Neptune. There you go. Now the marble is solved, we'll probably be able to just push the Set it to its limit. Um, was it per month, the food? Probably was, right? No, it's per year. So I still need to I still need to set up imports of meat. Is meat from sea trade routes? It's Hipporagius, which is a sea trade route, yes. Okay. Well. I guess I'm doing it here. No. I guess we accept, well, we could also just use this for feeding this block, potentially. Fish, vegetables, meat is gonna get deposited in the other one. We can split this. Uh, and split this. This is gonna be messy, but I need to use every bit of that food we get, because that's what we need to do. So let's go ahead and also disable them fish. One, two, three, and this one. And yes, now we need access for this. Is that a service? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, that's already blocked, so it should it should work. We need another market in here. Hopefully that's gonna result in acceptable things. We should get a form. It's getting pretty cramped in here. Let's see it. They need a bathhouse, don't they? 
No, they do have a bathhouse. So they would die to plague otherwise. They need pottery, which is here. I've, I'm worried about the uh, amount, actually. I should probably make another pottery workshop. Where is the labor camp? Let's get another pottery workshop. Could always send him this. We need 100 favor, which that's gonna be a grind. I need to keep gifting. Probably want extra stone now. We will need jobs. That's the main thing. We could die to jobs. This is gonna explode if I'm not careful. Limit food types in the new market just in case. This? No. It's fine. They can get everything. They want the supply post needs to only uh, only eat, only eat vegetables and fish though. Otherwise, soldiers will starve. He's upset. Okay, that's terrible. We we would prefer not to be in debt anymore. It's January. Ah, so it was the tribute that caused it. Do we still need desirability or something over here? It's not enough. Okay. It is not enough. What do I do? I don't know. What's the capacity? 7650. That should be enough if we evolve these people. I'm gonna carpet bomb the shit out of this house. So I have to. These people hate the arena. I'm sorry. It's your life. So just like deal with it. I, don't, I can't give you... Nonsense. I know you would like nonsense. Um. It's really bad. I could try to put the arena elsewhere. Now it's gonna agitate these people, but we've built them a thing, so they like things, right? It's gonna be fine. Yeah, they are they are okay with it. So Grand Insula there. Now this block is cursed. It needs various things and it's pretty hard to get it. I guess we have to do this. And though I would really prefer not to have to do this. will help slightly. Do we need another market? But I don't have the space for it. Well, it's not true. I can't put another one in, but it's kind of far away. Yeah, it's it's a mess. This is a mess. Oh, this needs to accept market ladies. That's right. That was my bad. There you go. Evolve. Oh no, people are upset. Okay. Do I have to pay them even more? That's insane. Okay, what's... It throws again. Vages throws again to 4 to 5. Um, we need sand. He needs that sand again. It's, he always asks for it. I'm gonna just overproduce it a little bit. It's fine. Can I make his own little sand area? Yeah. Do it. Give him his sand. No one comes here ever. Just accept sand. Man is fine. Maybe. Who doesn't want to live next to the arena? Plaza missing north uh, of the no on the north block. Is it? Is it? Oh yeah. It, that would have helped as well. Entertainment. Not enough. Do you have shows? Yes. No current gladiator combat. So glads are at the limit, I guess. That is the attack. It's here. Which is the not so great place. It's okay. Yeah, rushing in. Okay. 
Well, these people are in Grand Insula, while the other people don't even have pottery. Uh, just gonna have to love markets and how they operate. There's plenty of pottery to get. Just they keep getting random things from random places. Even though we have like four markets in this block. Yeah, just give them time. It's fine. Why? Oh, it's this. Mm -hmm, I don't want to deal with that. Make it. Do we have labor? We have labor surplus. I need to spend the workers. I don't know how. I do not know how. Um, there's not much we can do. Maybe furniture production? Around here. This should be enough people for the goal, right? We need 8,000. It should be enough. Hopefully it is. If it's not, then I'll have to do something. Uh, let's get a warehouse. Let's get workshops for furniture. Put it there. It's gonna be a bit cursed. It's fine. Cardipus. You still do your job. I don't trust you. Bring timber. Let's set this to be timber and furniture. Then we bring it. We need to trade it. So let's take a look. Do we accept 16 of something? Stone. Let's accept 16 furniture. To trade it. Bring timber from 8 to 18. Bring furniture from 18 to 2. And we sell it. I didn't check timber quota, but I'm under the impression we can sell these. Yeah, a lot of. We can sell a lot of furniture, but can we import a lot of timber? 16 timber. It's not really great. 32 is decent, but that's C. I would have to do C trade to get timber in such a quantity. 64 from here. Okay, that's a, that's a lot. Uh, we could still set up the, the C imports as well, I guess. It's just this. Doesn't have space anymore. I could stop marble. I don't care about that anymore. Accept some popsicle sticks. Bring popsicle sticks from the dock warehouse, which is 5 to 18. Expand the furniture mines. Also, another 4. I don't trust this. We are getting there, we are getting there. Give people some nice things. Should make them happy. Are you happy? Not yet, they need goods. They should get pretty much everything eventually. Yeah. Still stealing stuff. At least money's fine now. Now the music is gonna get reset constantly because of the crime. It's gonna be super annoying. Also, this is just a mess. They can't handle not having goods directly at their doorstep. That's what's happening here. It's the main issue. I would even separate the warehouses because they can't. They can't handle even something like this. Which is quite frustrating. Uh, that's what it is. Get a warehouse closer. 
set the, the same. We need employment anyway, so let's set up three card depots. Do I have access to... Well, I need this for combat. So I would like to put this elsewhere. Somewhere where it's relevant, but it doesn't need to supply like the whole thing. If it's a little bit inefficient, this is fine. So I don't have a very good place for that. We need three of these. I guess it goes here. Now let's check the service for this. Yeah, it's terrible. We need to fix it. Hopefully that's gonna fix it. Uh, let's set up furniture, bring it from... 7, no. 9 to 7. So that's, where is it? That's furniture. Do the same with oil. Do the same with water. Uh, another warehouse with closer goods. Hopefully it's not gonna result in instability on the upper block. Because it could. It could happen. Asking for things, send him the things. Send him things. Let's do this. Let's get a gift. We can do medium gift. Favor is gonna be the last thing to achieve most likely, which means like I have to hold it for that time and it's gonna be terrible. I might isolate this actually. Let's take a look at this. Meat and fish, let's do eight and eight. Let's get um, fruit and... Vegetable, uh, fr fruit and wheat. And we cut this off. Let them each have their own little thing because they cannot handle it. It's just the worst. So I'm not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give these people their own little services because we don't care about the couple of extra workers. It's not worth the jank. Usually it's a good idea. In here I feel like it's not worth it. Let's do that. Let's isolate it. Let's get a couple of depots and start bringing goods to this. What we need is depots for food, which means they need to be efficient or we need to have like double. I guess we have double. Four. Bring wheat from is it three? Sixteen. Yes. Copy paste. Paste. Do fruit. Copy paste. Now paste it. There you go. Now let's see if the stability improves. So terrible. What? Why is it exploding? Just give me a break. What is that? Is that a depot? I'll die. I don't know how. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this depot does. I have no idea. What is this? I have no. I'm sorry. I don't know. It might be sand. It might be something else. I don't know. I have literally no idea. Is it the sand? Maybe. Okay. Whatever. I'm not fixing that. I don't know what it is. Varus is not getting stuff, it's not. Why? Did I set up the depots incorrectly? Where is it? From 9 to 7. Ah, sorry, not to 7, to 19. There we go. Now we need to fix the rest of them. It's my, my bad. Oil and do... We'll do some pottery as well. This will help. Hmm. 
No oh boy. What? 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 Ducks exploded. How? I guess it's too long now. <sighs> Whatever. Just adding another one. It's fine. It's fine. I guess it was about time. It's a desert after all, so that's kind of why the explosions are real. This is probably the most explosions I had in a while. Can you just get the freaking pottery? Just get it. Just get it. Just get it. It's right there. Just get it. It's right there. They'll get it. Yeah. Good thing card post make logistics a uh, no-brainer. <laughs> yeah. Apart from when they collapse and you have no idea what they did when you have 50 of them. Uh, it's terrible. I have no idea what that did. We need a demographic collapse right now. Can't keep employing these people, they're upset. They'll get their goods. There you go. What do you want? Goods. What is the prosperity say? Swing to defend. This could be a simultaneous attack. Almost there with the pop, but favor is gonna be a massive grind. It's gonna take forever. Oh, gods, gods are pissed. I need to solve the gods. Or they'll be on my case. Um, maybe out of cycle, yeah. You see, Turgon, this map has 8,000 population at its abusive pay. You don't need 20,000 population, 40,000 population pop goals in this game. You don't need that. You do not need that. For something to be a massive pain. No, I love coming here. So Business is going very well. Chair 100, don't blame your prefectures for the fires. It is me sneaking around with my flamethrower to give you an extra challenge. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. You are, because it's happening again. Didn't we, didn't, wasn't there fire again? No, this is that. Okay, it's a theft. Fine. <sighs> I have to find that one that you say uh, up to 20 years ago. What? You set up- oh, the car depot, yeah, 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 the one I set up 20 years ago is a pet. I, I have no idea, I have no idea what it did. So literally something is dysfunctional in this city and I don't know what it is. I could investigate, but I'm tired. We need favor, I need- why, just, why is it 100 freaking favor? And of course they will be dead when I'm building the temple of cringe. Then I have to wait here forever. Yay. One more month. I'll micro the shit out of these gifts now because I have to. There is no universe in which I don't micro the gifts. You just have to stay above the attacks. We almost have the pop. What is the reason? What is the reason? Tell me the reason. Oil. No, there is oil. What is it really? It's because you only have 1500 markets in your block? Maybe you want another one? That could be the cause of it, because you are clearly incompetent. Uh, I don't... I don't feel like we can do that easily. Prosperity should be... fine. 75 exactly We need these people to evolve. I guess I give them time, but like it's clearly not working. Yeah, it's devol devolving oil There is plentiful oil all the oil you can drink Oil, I don't know 
Yeah, because this market will have a specific job. Well, no, it's gonna be this one. Or... <laughs> Which one is it? I'm gonna set a market and it's gonna... Its sole job is gonna be to just get freaking goods. And then it's gonna be done. And I don't have to deal with its garbage. Where is it? You, stop whatever you're doing. You're doing it wrong. Do this. Terrible. Mm, gifts. Seven months. Alright. Yeah, you can have all the things. Thank you for the favor. At least that is that. But it gives relatively little, I think. Well, we'll see. Nine months. He's grateful. 72. Mm. Not great. It's small gifts that's gonna take some time. Good to prosperity. Good to population, I think. Do we? Yeah. That's enough. I need to labor sponge, though. I need to labor sponge. We are having issues. But where? I don't really have much space left. Um, I guess this little area. It's more like a puzzle map, this. I did feel a lot of it. Now, question is, do you need to fill most of it? Would that make it a puzzle map if you were able to just get away with less? I feel like we are getting away with pretty minimal things and still like... Could you have... Will cities look different on this map? That's what I want to ask. Is anyone else's city gonna look different than mine? Maybe a little bit, but I'm fundamentally not really. All that all yet you are wondering why the city is full. It's, it's the oil refinery in Gilly Gilly. It's fine. I feel like I'm playing at Apple Inc. instead of Caesar. The old Eriks are under attack from the insurgents. Yes. The prefects are the insurgents. Also the city, like, again, it's completely full, so... I would say the map doesn't have much variation to it, but I could be wrong. But from what I see, like, how could you fit anything else differently? I don't know. My guess is you will end up with the same city, most of the times, for most people. Which was one of the things I tried to do in a Conquered Verb. Every city should look different. But this is not a Conquered, so it could be whatever. Oh no. Smash. My stuff. And they sneaking through that place, I need to pull that. They're still coming. Alright. They smashed a clay, uh, clay pit, sand pit for Caesar. It's fine. Did I um, lose the thing? Yeah, I bet this was a sand thing. I, I'm completely blind. Where is sand? There you go. Bring it from 11 to... 17, 1. There you go. Have some more jobs. Now we need favors, so let's wait for his request and if we can, keep gifting him. Small gifts forever is the way of life. Yeah, another attack. Great. Small gift. 85. We need 15 more. This doesn't feel natural. You should do... Yeah, my advice would be make the Temple to Mercury also give you some form of personal savings each year so that you can burn through this faster so you don't have to do this. It is a bit of a test of stability of the city, like, can you, is it sustainable? At least for, like, you know, 
couple of decades. And yeah, I get it, but also... This... Uh, judging from how limited the options are, there's a very good... Very... Reasonable assumption that some people might make it when it's just like barely stable and then this is gonna just finish them off and not being able to achieve the favor. Which I don't feel like is a good way to de get defeated. Like you build the city, everything's done, and then you die to favor. Because you had to have that, because you built Temple of Cringe. Oh, so he's, a, he's not building... Well, he is building a sand castle. So he was also asking for sand. But we're also selling it. The reputable people buy sand from us. The best sand merchant in town. Alright, next to the snake oil merchant. Yeah, it would speed this up. Like, it's a test of stability for the city. Like, can it survive, you know, 20 extra years with this? But, um, I don't feel like getting defeated now would be good. When it's practically done. So, like, yeah, alleviating the favor issues is good. Like, it's fine if you force death, like it was. But you have, you kind of have to accept that, I feel like. And favor is good. The amount of requests was enough to keep you going even if you didn't pay tribute. So, that was okay. The thing is, uh, yeah, this late, you really, like, it's just pointless to grind it up, right? And if I wasn't microing it, it would take even longer. Temple of Cringe, you mean TikTok? <laughs> it is. Uh, but no, I meant Temple of Mercury because it cost. Like a hundred thousand an hour or something? Oh, suddenly something explodes, yes. Welcome to the desert. Stop! Oil. Sand pit. Alright. Build the freaking Sarlacc pit. Need to micro the gift. Seven months. Stop. No, it was a devolution. No, no, no. We don't want any, any of that. Yes, take, take everything. I don't care. Send you my first board. Do it. Do it. It gives you two favor. There you go. Thank you, Caesar. I hope the next governor is gonna have a wonderful time at this city. Yeah. So much for Gila Gila. Uh -huh. Oh boy. Uh, I feel like I need a shower. Thanks. And thanks to the Station Walker for making the map. It is his first map, so for a first map, it is really good. Uh, I would advise the favor change. Otherwise, I'm personally not a huge fan of the marble price. I feel like it just inflates the game time too much, but it it is doable. I just don't feel like it's natural. Uh, there is a lot of trade, but at the same time, with the food imports, those two things combined make it. So it's a dead fest. You go up, you go you go down, you go up, you go down constantly, right? And it's fine, it's just not how I prefer to play because it's very stressful. Because I feel like I'm gonna die at every month and every year, especially once we reach that last stage. It was like half, mm, half completed on the stage 4 out of 5. I, I felt like we were about to die from the dead. It was terrible. But... You know, maybe some of it was self-inflicted uh, misery as well. I also think with the native trade, this would have been much better. But I couldn't use it because it was bugged. But th then again, some people might choose a different thing, right? With the money. But perhaps the gold... If, if I had known that it's bugged, I would probably go for the gold instead. Because that seemed like it's pretty good. 
um, for making money. Otherwise, I feel like the map is maybe a bit too puzzly. Uh, like, perhaps, um, I don't know, I would take a look at the sample of like five cities and how did they end up looking? Each one of them, right? And do, did they end up looking the same? Do you have variations? I would be interested in seeing that because to me it feels like I would do the same thing if I played it again. Like I don't think I did super bad decisions with where to put things. Obviously like maybe you will have some more card depots or something but I feel like the block sites and the trade in general is probably gonna be very similar. Also for Augustus map on the one monument um, it's a little low, but I don't hate it. It's it has a flavor and a, it's unique with the Mercury Temple. It also well it, it gives you plazas in that conquered, but it gives you a bunch of other things. So that was okay. I still feel like the marble price is insane though. It it inflates the game time too much to my uh, liking, but it's okay. It does mean that you have to deal with demographic collapse a little bit, I guess, which otherwise you could ignore completely. Mm -hmm. If anyone tested the, if anyone tested the map, feel free to upload the cities to completed cities channel on Discord. I'm gonna do mine as well. I've got an auto save. I also will probably use this for a thumbnail. This is gonna go to YouTube, by the way. So yeah, if if it was a bit. Mm, I tend to complain when I'm under pressure and I felt like I certainly was and so I complained a lot. So if this was, that was annoying, I apologize for that. I hope it wasn't too much. Let's go ahead and make a screenshot. There we go. And I'm gonna post that thing in Discord. First, let's go to Senna. I'm gonna give you some music. We'll end soon. But yes, this campaign, I feel like it's gonna be harder, much harder than Reconquered. Judging from this first one, Reconquered was not this hard, I don't think. What is this? Why is this here? Go away. There you go. I'm not sure what it was. I should make some videos for YouTube as well, by the way. I haven't made one in a, almost a week. I had a policy of one video per day. But then I was like, oh, I need to do sentiment and, and, and employment breakdowns. And that's just so much math. I got something. Oh, yeah. Hoxton did Syracuse I finally. I'll need to take a look at that. Do you want to take a look at it with me, chat? We could, I guess. This is the guy who likes to decorate um, a lot. He was featured in the video we made about cities from the Reconquered campaign. All right. I need to I need to implement it though. So just give me a sec. Image. Oh boy, it's huge. This is fine. <laughs> Will do, Marek. I tend to complain. <laughs> Sentiment is a bit. It's a, it's such a massive topic. I just feel I start doing the video and then I'm just like my spirit's broken. I just want to do something else <laughs> in my life. It's just I don't want to cover it, but I will have to. Um, 
yeah, let's take a look at the city, right? So this is from Hoxton, he makes the filled-in cities. This is Syracuse from the Reconquered campaign. His hippodrome is in the middle of the city, which is interesting. Uh, as for housing, we see, yeah, almost everything on high ground, which is great. He tends to build all monuments. Yep, it's all grand temples, Colosseum, hippodrome. Uh, do we have a caravansarai? He usually likes to place them in one area. I think. Yes, Caravanserai and a lighthouse. Do we have a lighthouse? Surely we have a lighthouse. Yes, we do. Alright. Well, otherwise, uh, industry looking good. L used most of the farmland. You, he left some He left some trees near the city's temple. That looks kind of cool. Even though ob obviously not optimal. The defenses look a bit squiggly, but that's how you have to do it, I guess, if you want to tap the water from the outside. Because he saves water, or sorry, he saves space by doing that. But it's of course dangerous. To have to have uh, reservoirs on the low ground. Like that. This is the price you have to pay for having like a senate, a uh, governor's residence, pantheon, you know, unnecessary things on the high ground. As well as the hippodrome. It looks cool though. So, you know, this is like... 50-50 visual appeal and... Um, practicality but yeah like it still works it's still better than playing a sandbox and just lining up random things in a completely open map that proves nothing this proves a lot because the map can be hard even normally for a lot of people well hard it's you know um, it asks for a lot from some people so yeah otherwise oil industry pretty good a lot of those small mausoleums that he likes to place, especially on the God Island. The Grand Temple Island has been used profusely. Love all the mausoleums. He tends to do them, yeah. Yeah, his cities are always great. To expect it for an important site for a new colony. The Empire has voracious appetite for soul. Okay, well. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope it was not uh, Not terrible to watch this. I hope I didn't rage too much. Thank you uh, to Destination Walker for making the map Feel free to check it out for yourselves and see you next time. Bye